Hey guys, how are you? What's going on? Happy Monday, guys. Happy Easter Monday. Um, I don't know if you guys call it Easter Monday up there, but down south they call it Easter Monday. Anyway, happy Monday, guys. It is the Monday after Easter, and welcome to Real Talk Bougie, guys. We just got back in from out of town. Um, for those of you who may not have known, I really didn't make like a big announcement like, oh, okay, guys, we're going out of town. We're not going to be, um, you know, I won't be live for a couple days, but yeah, I thought I would be because I bought my computer with me, but you see how that turned out. Anyway, I went live yesterday morning. I think it was yesterday morning. Was it Easter? It was Easter morning and uh, it was just, it was not working. Um, and then we had to get over to my brother's and we were checking out and going to go visit my brother and everything. So any of you guys who missed the live yesterday, it was early and we got started in um, the three basically breakup videos. And we got through obviously the first one we'd already done in members. Um, and then we were getting into the second video and then I, we got sort of the way through that one and then working up to the third. Anyway, I'm up to date with everything. I saw everything. Um, I saw the Dion video. I don't know. Was that this morning? And then, oh my God, I laughed so hard tonight with Dre. Um, the Dre video is funny too. So I wanted to kind of stay a little bit in order. Plus there's some videos we never even got to from at the end of last week. So we do have a lot of catching up to do. So we will, um, it's spring break here. Um, so just expect to get caught up. Um, hopefully, I'll, you know, I mean, I guess depending on whatever they're dropping next, I mean, hopefully I can get caught up tomorrow and, and, uh, and Wednesday and we won't be too far behind. So just bear with me because normally I know I'm pretty on top of things, but we've been gone really since Thursday. So my bad, y'all. Anyway, I hope that you guys had a lovely Easter holiday and did everything that you wanted to and enjoyed your families and all the things. Um, let me see. I'm glad to hear from you. Oh, well, thank you, Michelle. Yeah, I mean, I've been uh, responding to comments and stuff like that. And I did go live yesterday for like a little bit over an hour. Um, but I was in the, we were in the middle of leaving from one location, going to another, checking out of our hotel and going to another hotel. So we were, you know, in transit. Um, we actually went to New Jersey um, to my sister. One of my sisters was in town um, from LA and we went to go see her, go see my cousin, my aunt and uncle. And, um, and then we went to go see my brother. So, um, and then we got back home today. So we've been gone since Thursday. So, um, but I thought I would be able to kind of handle things and maybe go live here and there. And it just didn't really work out also. Cause I was kind of like, um, I mean, we were visiting and you know, all the things you guys saw what happened over the weekend, but it was nice because I did need to take a little bit of time, uh, obviously with my family and things. So it was nice. We had a good time. So, and I hope that you guys enjoyed your weekend too. Anyway, let's get into it because we left off. Um, gosh, where did we leave off? <laughs> I know exactly where we left off. Um, and I have some notes. So um, I just thought it, this was crazy, but we knew Sonya wasn't gone. I mean, at the end of the day, we knew Sonya wasn't gone. I know some of you guys thought Sonya was gone. I knew she wasn't gone. Um, she's just not cut from that cloth. Sis is in love with this dude. And she is very willful and prideful and full of lots of ego. And we already knew she wouldn't go anywhere. Um, Okay. See, I think when there was a sis who was reminding us what time it was, um, I did get, he, let me tell you something. So I, it was funny. Somebody was asking what time I was going to go live tonight. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so tired. I think I'm going to take a nap. And the person was like, make sure you set your alarm before you lay down so you can make sure to get up. <laughs> anyway, I, 
laid down a little while ago and I don't know, I fell asleep. It was probably like right around a quarter to 10. And I don't know, I think I was kind of half asleep, but I woke up and next thing I know, I'm like, it's 1104. I'm like, oh my God, I got to get up. I got to go live. Um, anyway, I'm here. Um, never for a minute did I think she was gone. Her pride. Oh my God. She's no way. For what? Um, you guys are sweet. Thank you for asking for likes. Um, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. These chats are subscriber only. So if you want to join in on the fun, make sure to subscribe to this channel. And also a free way to support the channel is really just to hit the like button. That helps so much. So if you um, go ahead and hit the like button, that'd be awesome. Uh, let's see. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. So we left off in this one. Let's just get back to it. We're not going to start it from the beginning. I need to, where did we leave off with this one? Somewhere around here. Okay. I think it was somewhere around here. She was talking about emailing the judges with her silly behind. Um, let's get into it. We'll get to the next one. I don't know if we'll do the, um, the Dion and Dre. We'll probably save that for the morning. So let's just get into this. Um, if you want part one of this or where we picked up from the beginning, just go back to yesterday's live, uh, yesterday morning and we definitely got into it. So welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. Thank you for coming and let's get into it. Let's see. Is it gonna, um, hopefully she sent her email. Um, she should before court. I didn't mention that to her. She got on a signature file with 17 charges. Sonia is so silly. I wonder what these letters to the judges are actually about. I don't understand where and why she thinks that she needs to message a judge. And there's no indictment yet. Like, what is she even talking about? And who does she think she's telling on? I just don't get it. And I do remember Erica King did email a judge and it, it ended up working for her. But for Sonia, I don't know what's going on. Let's see if we can. Well, 2022. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, thank you. You ain't off the hook, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, so I'm gonna he he had a car factory right now, so I'm gonna call him back in about two hours, and um so we can. Who you gonna call back? I'm gonna call Dre back in two hours. Oh, oh your yeah, bestie, go ahead. Uh huh. Call him back in two hours, so we can get this get this thing get started up. So what's going on? And he said, "Well, you got all them bonds." They said, "You got you got holes everywhere." I said, "No, I don't have no holes everywhere. That's not true." I said, "They didn't read the shit all right." I said, "Time this." Time of statute of limitation has been out. I said, I forgot to tell him that my wallet and shit when my uh, truck got broke in. So I got all that document, all that. And this fool didn't even go look what I asked him to do. Go look the shit up. Everything I'm talking about, all you got to do is go look the shit up and see what I'm saying is true. My facts is, is, is accurate. Okay. Did you do that? No, they did not. So. Nesto's ridiculous. He seems to think that people need to go and research his innocence. Like at the end of the day, I think people are just going to go based on their gut feeling about how they're going to advance when someone is in trouble. And maybe some people don't really care. I know documents. Okay. Um, I don't know. Like I'm kind of torn between when he said, I told this fool to go research, like, why does he need to go research anything? At the end of the day, are you like, what's the deal? So he was asking him. Anyway, the call that came out today was from March 9th. So that was two days prior to this. And he said that he was going to call Dre back in two hours. So I don't know if they, and if, phone calls from prison ended up finding a call for March 11th or not because the call today 
is from March 9th. So hopefully maybe there's another call that is like two days later around the time that he's going through this situation where Sonia is basically calling him out on talking about her behind her back and making her feel some type of way. And I think also making her painfully aware of how the YouTube streets is always right because we told her that he was using her. We told her that she was looking thirsty out here. And the fact that unsolicited Nesto basically repeated what had been said on the YouTube streets annoyed her allegedly because really and truly there was no breakup. I mean, let's just be honest. When was the breakup? The three minute call that she got mad that she called him out on what he said and he would not even let her speak or finish. I didn't really, that, to me, that's not a breakup. This call is not a breakup. She's lukewarm mad at him at best. She went live on March 12th to tell everybody it's the season finale of Nesto and Sonia. And that's not true because there's no breakup here. I have not heard anything to me that sounds like, don't fucking call me. I hate your guts. I, I don't want to have anything to do with you anymore. Da, 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 da. I mean, I just... Yeah, I didn't hear any of that. Did you guys? I mean, to me, a breakup is very different. A breakup is a breakup, and this was not a breakup. And the show that uh, he talking about, yeah, 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 some California. That wasn't none of me. That was somebody that using my shit home. I got all that shit documented. So when I got, well, uh, you just gonna have to fix it when you get when you get done you know, with everything. You have to get rid of all your other outstanding warrants. You don't want to get pulled over somewhere and him up. I said, man, I already got pulled over. Don't folks had to let me go because it was in the system. Yeah, so I already know what's going on. They don't no folks just lie to keep me in here. So, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and Pinocchio, and Pinocchio supposed to take care of... Uh, Is he supposed uh, to be going to court today? Which no. one? Who's going to court? Oh, 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 oh. Um, the other one's going today, but that's why I sent you a letter. So you'll see all that. you just behind schedule right now because you ain't been to see what's going on. But it's on. No, I'll be at the house in like a 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Yeah, all that what you need, the question you just read in front of you. Everything in front of you right there, you can see everything. So uh, I tried to call a guy, um, uh, uh, brother, he ain't up yet. You know, he don't get up to 12, 1 o'clock. So, and I already well, know You just call him at the court because you, you need to figure out what this is saying, too. Yeah. So that's, that's part of it. So. Nobody really could do anything until after today. Yeah, but but Dre leaving, he go to work tomorrow. I didn't know he was off all. Brown Eyed Girl, yeah, it's 11.28 and we are live. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Make sure to hit the like button, okay? We are live. Oh, last yeah, week. I didn't know that. But he go oh, back your back friend? Tomorrow. Yeah, he go back to work tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, so, yeah. He about to kill us. Yeah, uh -huh. it's, time, it's time to get out of here now. It's time. Yep. Yeah, he's getting your head cracked to the white meat. It's already cracked. Shit, it's been cracked out there. When I fall out there, I put my name all out there like some piece of shit. Uh -huh. Yeah, had me all out there like a, really, a, a real clown. Still do. Yeah. But it's okay. Uh, I'm going to bounce back. Yeah. But uh, anyway, so uh, that's kind of it. That's kind of it. So I apologize again. I don't know what for, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> you yeah. saying you don't know what you're apologizing for? Because I don't, I ain't there. I can't see what you see. I can't see. I was trying to, I was trying to let you hear I what I heard. I don't want to Yeah, you don't want to hear. You, you really don't want to hear that. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. It's your words out your mouth with no pressure. Oh, so there you go with that slick now. I'm trying to tell you now. I'm trying to tell you. Your mouth slicker than mine, but All I can right. get there. You know, I don't understand. Look, I'm I'm not in her situation, so I probably will never get it. But I don't even understand like what these two like she's she's trash canish. 
Um, so it's kind of like, okay, it's not really for me to understand, but it's really ridiculous. The fact that she thinks she's going back and forth with a guy like this. He, he really, he is desperate. And to think that the groveling that he ends up doing is because he actually cares. She is his only lifeline. And of course, he's going to argue down his one and only lifeline. I don't understand why she doesn't understand why this is going down like this. But, you know, we'll just, we'll continue to like, okay, okay, Sonia, keep going. Um, your actions have you looking like a real clown, Canesto. Uh, narcissist can't apologize. Now I can commence to my criticism of those gutter snipes. Let's see. We just got started. Yeah, we just got started. Um, exactly. She's completely silly. Okay. 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 No, it ain't. You a laugh. It ain't that slick. It ain't that slick. Mm -hmm. She's just mad. Okay. So and you're hilarious. It's this is no okay. like I'm gonna be honest with you. When I I listened to this a couple of times. Um, cause I had a, you know, when we were in between traveling to different locations, we had time to, I had a lot of time to listen to this and I listened to this maybe three or four times. And every time I listened to it, it just got weaker and weaker. And it was just like, this is not a freaking breakup. I think the only reason why this is a breakup is because she said it was a breakup, but this is not a breakup. She was mad because this is the main reason why I think she was mad is because she was embarrassed, if not for anything else. All of the things that he has done, all of the lies that he has told, all of the triangulating, all of the phone calls that she has heard between he and Shirley. Now you're mad all this time. You've been talking to this man for a year and a half. And these calls came out over six, seven months ago now. And you've heard when he's told you different things. You know that there is inconsistencies between him really wanting to be with you or him liking you or the level of your friendship and what he's told you was going on with him and Shirley and wasn't still going on with him and Shirley. You... He's married, all of these things, but you're mad because he pointed out the fact that you came looking for him, which is obvious. I don't even understand why you're mad about that. It's the truth. You did go looking for him. You have ta admitted to stalking, looking hard for him, all of these things. I just don't even understand. I just think that this was a whole plot twist. We're going to take the edge off. We're going to try to get people to stop watching. We're going to work on switching the narrative. I'm going to try to help out my blogger friend, um, try and take some heat off of her. So I'm going to pretend to go away. This was all a plot twist, storyline twist to take some heat off. There is nothing that I believe that she was even mad about. Nesto has said, so many things that she has been completely unbothered about because she is a complete and total pick me that it just seems outrageous that when she went live on March 12th and told us all of this, yeah, he said those things. Oh, it's AI. It's this, that, and the third girl. They were not broken yeah, up. Yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. They're not even together to be broken up, but they're not like, Okay, well, you need to drink you some water and get yourself together again. I drank some water. And to me, it's like, oh, we're just friends. We're just friends. We're just... So why is, what is, what needed to be over about just being friends? Girl, I know. I, I, look, we already knew that was going to happen. Like, at the end of the day, when she got control over that Instagram account, 
this is just the thing for me. When Nesto, when and if Nesto ever gets out of jail on bail or whether, you know, whatever happens with these charges, however this whole thing goes, this conversation that he thinks he's going to have with Shirley is not happening. It's one thing for her to have deleted or archived posts um, because he has completely done Shirley wrong. Shirley deleting or archiving posts on her Instagram, she had to. He's a complete bum. The fact that he has given control of his Instagram potentially to his side piece and this wench is deleting Shirley's pictures, he wouldn't even have to worry about calling me. He could just get in touch with my lawyer or my lawyers will get in touch with him whenever we see fit to file whatever papers, whatever affidavits we need to, to separate myself, period, from this weirdo. Because we know he doesn't have any money. And before he asks for some, I would separate myself from him, especially if he ends up getting convicted. On the plane, because I feel like I'm dehydrated, hot flashing, and all kind of crazy stuff. You don't drink that alkaline water? You drink that? Did he say alkaline water? <laughs> he said, You don't drink that alkaline water? Um, let's see. I thought she said she doesn't get emotional over a man. She can't cut them. Well, you know what? She she was mad because the YouTube streets was right, as usual. And I think she was embarrassed. But I think all of this also was some sort of a plot twist, some sort of drama, because she thinks that people are stupid. And I think that she thought that she was going to influence the internet into thinking that yeah, we're not together because they're stupid and they'll fall for anything, even though she's the dumb one. She's also be, being advised behind the scenes from someone on the YouTube streets who maybe convinced her that that was a good idea. I don't know. You know what I mean? You guys tell me. Um, okay, so let me say this. Thank you to, for the member milestone. Thank you for supporting two months. Hope you had a great weekend with your family. We did. Thank you so much. And April gifted a membership. Thank you, April Crumpton. I appreciate that. Let me refresh this monitor so I can see because I don't have my phone open. Okay, let's see. Uh, April, thank you so much, hon. Uh, love got gifted from April Crumpton. Love, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you enjoy your membership. And thank April Crumpton for that. You just got gifted. So I hope you enjoy and thank you so much. Um, let's see. Someone else just gifted a membership. Um, Lady Diamond, thank you so much. Zen Frequency, guess what? You just got gifted. Okay. Thank you again. Thank you, sis. I appreciate that. And thank you for gifting Zen Frequency. I appreciate that, y'all. Okay. Um, let me see. Let's keep going. I got, I wrote some notes down on these things. I don't know. We'll see how far we get and how long you guys want to stay up because it's spring break for me. <laughs> so we are, I, I still do have to get up early because my husband has to go to work in the morning, but, um, girl, I have to make lunch and stuff. But as far as taking Farrah to school and all that, uh, we're free. Um, okay. Let's keep going. Uh, I drink spring water. They said drink spring water in glass bottles. So I drink glass bottle spring water. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He, he's supposed to take care. Um, he's supposed to take care. Uh, Henry. Since he got out the other. The other uh, one. Whoa, Pinocchio. Yeah, because he got out the other one. So he's trying to he's trying to do that so that he don't have to pay no. Okay, Michelle, thank you for gifting. And Michelle gifted a membership and Peppa pepperoni. 426 got gifted. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Congratulations. So basically at this point in the video, they are talking about Pinocchio. Obviously, Crail Lewis is, um, they feel like he's the, he's the boy who lied. And they are saying that he wants to go ahead and take care, handle the Henry County case 
um, I guess to make up for whatever retainer wasn't spent or to, yeah, I guess whatever part of the retainer that wasn't spent now he wants to take over Henry County. So this is new news. What did we, what did we learn new, at least in any of that? Um, the main thing that we did learn is allegedly Crail Lewis is going to handle Henry County. So how Crail Lewis is not gone. He has been in the bushes and according to them, he is going to deal with Henry County so that when Nesto does get bonded out, that that can be handled and he can go on his way. But little does he know at this point, and I'm sure you guys know that at this point he thought he was in the clear, um, which he's going to talk about in the next video. So that's why I still want to watch it is because he was talking about Ernell Winfrey, or maybe it comes up in this one. I can't remember which one, but it's in between at this point and into the next video that he's talking about the deputy district attorney and that, um, oh, okay, so this is Monday. So they're going to talk about this. And yeah, it's because we know that basically a week and a half later, um, yeah, the uh, the CP charges are not gone, right? Oh, money back. Bad, bad, you know what okay. I'm saying? Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> man, I do it straight up. Hey, hey. Wow. Mm -hmm. Straight up, wow. Straight up, wow. That still ain't going to amount to what the hell he was exactly. talking about. You ain't doing nothing but none of those. And I told the judge that. Why is she telling? It's not like he's on trial. Nesto is sitting in the county waiting for bond or now has gotten bond. The judge, like, it's just ridiculous that she's sitting up here writing the judge on Nesto's behalf. I don't even have too much to say about it, but it's absolutely ridiculous. She's not his wife. She is his mistress, his well-documented mistress and the, an adversary to Shirley Strawberry, unbeknownst to her. And this woman has the unmitigated gall to sit here and write a judge on his behalf. She's trash. She's absolute trash. Um, isn't she the one who recommended Crail Lewis? Yes, she did. So that was her pick. And that was more money of Shirley's that got wasted. But at the end of the day, he's going to help with, uh, he's going to work on, uh, Henry County. So, I mean, that's that. Look, this is the harvest of the seeds they planted, right? He did nothing. He hasn't done anything Bullet since house. May of last year. Because June is when he called off talking about, I got, what is this stuff calling the chicken pox? That, that old people situation. It's so, Crail Lewis had shingles, okay? These two are at a loss for words. These two, you know what I'm saying? Like, I hate, like, I don't even hate it for them, but this is just what happens when a thug gets old and a dried up old barmaid gets old. You know what I'm saying? Like this chick has been working in bars and nightclubs. She's in her mid fifties. Someone feels like middle age is like, I don't think they like that term. I don't know. I use it because it's appropriate. Middle age is middle age. But this woman in her middle 50s, um, sis is through, okay? Sis is through. <laughs> she can think she looks young all she wants. At the end of the day, sis, you are a, you know, you're washed up woman in her 50s who is dealing with a bum and it's been documented all over the internet. It's not a good look. It's not cute at all. So the fact that this is happening. It's not cute. It's not cute. And she thinks that she has some sort of pull and some sort of say over this guy, this bum. Like it's just, it's like, it's the most ratchet romance ever. Daddy had that and he couldn't go to court and didn't do anything after that. Thank you, no. Alan. Appreciate it. Okay. 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 Today's gonna be a good day today. It's gonna be a oh great day today. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It sure is. It better be for you. I don't worry about me. It's gonna be a good day for you. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be. So I'm assuming that this is before five o'clock because 
this this was the day of the pop up hearing, and I feel like I don't remember what time this was, but I think it was later in the day, wasn't it? Um, I'm gonna look while this is playing, but March 11th when this happened, I think this was later in the day. Um, let me see. Up here, uh, whining and crying. Yeah, yeah. You should be whining and crying and smacking yourself. Is what you need to be doing. What? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, okay. All right. Circle, circle, laugh, laugh. Well, the reason why he's confused, first of all, Nesto is old and crotchety and now a little bit stuck in his ways. He's in the jail. He's not used to Sonia talking this way to him. She doesn't normally circle back and say slick stuff to him. She's always very accommodating. She comes up with a scenario and an apology or a reason for everything. But now here we go into day two of her sticking with this, well, you said this, I'm upset, you can't count on me anymore, I'm kind of on my way out of here, and I'm going to still give you a little bit of a hard time, but she's still helping, so I think he may think she's trying to be cute, and all I have to do is apologize, and things will be fine, Number one, in the back of my head, I just feel like this whole thing was a skit. But number two, if it wasn't a skit, and let's just say that this is her way of kind of getting back at him for saying something she didn't like that the YouTube streets has been saying all the time. Um, she's just trying to pull a power play for him to know, I got you by your nuts. And I'm a need for you to stop talking about me. At the end of the day, no matter how Nesto feels, the bottom line is, is that she's letting him know that she heard something. She doesn't like it. I got you by the balls. I want you to painfully be aware that I'm the only one who comes through to help you. And if you don't, you know, if you don't like it, well, I can disappear. So I think that this was either some, you know, I don't believe that this was a breakup. Um, I think this was very much like a convenient reason to give him a hard time to be mad because the YouTube streets has been dragging you all this time. And it was also an opportunity to think that maybe she could get a little bit of the heat off because all she ever talks about is trying to move and change the narrative around him. And according to her, she says she doesn't want her channel to be about this anymore. We don't really know for sure, but it's it's one of these things, obviously, right? Um, they definitely deserve... Girl, they absolutely deserve one another. It's a bad look. No one, no one is checking for Sonya after this except for bums, bums, and more bums. That's it. Yeah, well, guess what? I ain't gonna say nothing. I ain't gonna Don't say nothing. say nothing. Well, guess what? I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> don't say nothing. I ain't gonna say nothing. Because you don't want to hear it. Because you don't. No, that's not. Yeah, it is. But not, this is this is what this is what you need to do, or this is what you need to learn to do. No, this is not the one. The one that was at three nineteen, I think, is the one tomorrow. The one on three twelve. The one on um on March twelfth, because uh they have the time on on uh on the next call. I think that's the one that was three nineteen, but maybe it is three nineteen in the afternoon. Who knows? Um, let's see. This is the this is call number two, and I think the other one had the time. We'll see. Let's keep going. I don't know if it's as relevant today as it is on the next day, um, but this had to be before court. Well, all these excuses and reasons and, and misguided information talk about two years ago. No, 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 Because I, because, wait, listen, wait minute, because, oh, it's, it's, no, no, no don't say anything, because I was still talking. You can't come in my conversation. Hold your tongue. Well, what? You need She's to so realize this. I heard you 
talking. What nobody coming to tell me, when no reading, I heard you talking. Okay? I heard you talking. Okay, to yourself. Talking about? Nope. Talking about? We did, we did. Because you trying to, because you, no, ain't nobody done. That's you with your half ass. We're not going to talk on the white folks phone about it. I know, but I'm saying it in a, in a way where the, where the, because listen, only because the world already heard it because that's why I had to go here because somebody kept saying, go listen, go listen, this, that, and the other. So I'm like, okay, let me well, go and listen. You know what? Let me tell you what I heard. Okay. So it's already, the let world already I heard it before I did. Let me, t- let me hear, tell you what I heard. I heard that. Uh, no, I'm not tell you. No, no, I'm tell you go ahead. What you hear? What you hear? No, I'm going to go by what somebody told me now. And, and, and I'm going to go go by what I'm saying. Be, be quiet. Don't say nothing. Wait till you get out. That's what I'm going to do. Anybody got Oh, yeah, because you're going you you, to you gonna get your ears burnt off when That's I get done. I've been getting that shit been burnt out for so damn long. They don't need... <laughs> All the hairs in your ears is going to be gone. Okay, well, I'm gonna get, they, they, definitely are, they definitely long right now, so you got a lot of blowing to do. Mm-hmm. Burning, I said. Burning is going to burn. Uh, that's fine. I don't like it in my ears anyway, so I'm, I'm grateful for that. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So this, so this is what was going on on this day. Let's let's look at this tab over here. Um, we're not going to watch this right now. This is posted if you guys want to watch it. But this was three eleven, right? This was March eleventh. This was later in the afternoon. Here's Nesto right here. This is when uh, DDA Ernell. Uh, Winfrey was there. This was when Will Wooten came back. Will Wooten had been seen previously. At the end of the day, I think they were, I don't know if they were trying to throw people off or what, but I think that Nesto was smelling himself a little bit because he thought he was getting a reduction in his bonds, which he did. There was a reduction in the Erica King conspiracy bonds that all got negotiated down basically to like $3,000 per count multiplied by whatever they were. Um, I have, you know, we have already broke all that down before. I think that what came out the bushes was the fact that Ernell at this point, um, Hannah talks about, well, why is count what's count four doing on here? Um, what is basically this particular case was already dismissed and Ernell never filed the paperwork. DDA Winfrey, this person right here in, let me make this bigger. Ernell Winfrey um, in this box right here, if you can see my pointer, never filed the dismissal, right? So the conspiracies were all reduced. That was Will Wooten. He handled all of those. Um, she was sitting or Nell was sitting in the company of the hearing because she was basically there to report that, um, the CP would come back. It would be revived in a grand jury, in a grand jury, um, indictment. And judge Manning stated, well, we need for you to file that dismissal if it's truly dismissed. And she said, that's fine. We'll bring it back in a grand jury indictment. And then what happens like a week and a half, almost two weeks later, is that it is basically re it's reinstated or refreshed with a new case number. So that was what was going on on this day. So Nesto, this is clearly before this hearing. So they're playing on the phone that, oh, we we're breaking up or you're mad. You've got an attitude, this, that, and the third. And he's got court later because he's expecting a reduction in his bonds so that they can work on the funding to get his behind out of jail. Well, now they find out that the dismissal never got dismissed. And what does that mean? Even if it hadn't been refreshed, the fact that it hadn't even been dismissed yet, he was still sitting with a $700,000 bond on that charge. So he was painfully aware that it's been six weeks almost or four weeks 
since you went to court and she said she was going to dismiss it, it never got dismissed and she never dismissed it. She actually just ended up refreshing it. So he went from thinking he needed to collect about $50,000 with a 10% bond fee to being at well over a million dollars. So the tone between 311 and 312 is very, very, very different. I think they're stuff? I think they're still playing right here because he hadn't been I don't think he's gone to court yet at this moment because court was at five o'clock. Yes, I'm 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 fat. I'm a hundred I'm a hundred and ten pounds. You think someone would believe it? I know, right? <laughs> no, I'm still Oh my god, I'm still skinny. I'm still skinny. Okay. I'm still around 90, 93. I can't, I can't push back. Oh, shit, I left my whistle bag. My, uh, I had too much stuff to bring back anyway. Uh, okay. Why are you buying all that stuff and you ain't got the room to put that stuff in? Because you that kept saying, let's go to the mall, let's go to the mall, let's go to the mall. So he kept going to the mall, going to the mall, going to the mall. And I ended up coming with a, with a, Louis Duffo and ended up getting one of the largest suitcases and having a, and then having that two shopping bags, a Louis Duffo full of stuff. That's how much stuff I have by the time I left. So, so she, her, her, her girl, girl go to go to the mall. And of course, I'm like, all right, look out. So I know it's nothing to do there. That, that's what it was. You go eat or go shop. Go eat or go shop. Yeah, I keep bringing, I'm so tired of bringing more people in this mall. It's just, this shit. Well, you know, man, they got a they got a a, a quota to meet. They so okay. to me. Man. okay, so this is my YouTube recording. So that's the camera supposed to be real good, right? And then I'm not. This is the family phone. Uh, let me just address something real quick. So, Petty Patty, go back in the timeline and check a couple different channels. It wasn't on 315. It was on Monday. It was on Monday, 311. 315 was a Friday. Um, I'm not sure what happened on 315, but this was on 311. This was on 311. Um, this is the date of, well, let's, let me refresh everyone's memory. Let's go. Let's. Just for historical purposes, since uh, let's see. Okay, so this was three eleven. Let's go back in time for just a second, guys. At a okay. pretty high bond. Ron, and you ready? We'll talk about it at the end. Well, you guys must be leaving the jail. I'm sorry. We'll try to take y'all get y'all taken care of quickly. All right. So on the add-ons, uh, one through five, I think. One through four. One through four. Uh, 22 CP 210 500. There's uh, right now I've got 610 days without indictment. There's a five thousand dollar good bond on theft by deception. 22 CP 211078, 610 days, fifteen thousand dollar good bond on three counts of conspiracy to commit a felony. Then on position three. And maybe, uh, Petty Patty, maybe you're talking about when they reinstated, when they rearrested him, if that's what you're talking about. I think that's what you're talking about, Petty Patty. The day that he got rearrested with the refresh on the CP charges, that was 315. They did that on that Friday. Three. This hearing was 311. She said that she would revive this through a grand jury by 315 that Friday afternoon. He had been rearrested and the new refresh on the CP charges was then um, uploaded. Let me see if I can find that because I've got the um, we'll get into the weeds on that. We can go through the timeline. I don't want to waste too much time on a timeline at this moment, but I think he was rearrested on that Friday and um, and everything. Is this it here? Let me see. Okay, this is what you're talking about right here. Okay, let me make this big. 
So the pop-up hearing was the reduction in workforce, were, were reduction in bond, which we were just looking at. I just dropped the link to that, okay? What we are seeing right here, this is the certified document that was filed on March 15th. Hold on. Let me make it big so you guys can see. So this was filed on March 15th, as you can see. That was when he was rearrested under the new case number right here, 24 uh, PI001839. So that wasn't the pop-up hearing. This was the date that he was actually rearrested. And that would maybe that was a first appearance. It was not a pop up hearing with Judge Manning. That was um, on three fifteen. He was rearrested under the new refresh of uh, basically CP. So twenty four PI zero zero one eight three nine relies on the same warrants, and it's listing the warrants of the original case twenty three CP two one five four zero seven, which was to be. No prost, so which it says DA NP'd. So the district attorney, no prost on 314 with same bond and condition. So she, so no prost grand juried 314 2014. So, um, there is a note here that basically is listing that they are refreshing the original case, which DA NP. G Jade, um, no pros grand juried on 314 24 with same bond and same conditions. So, this is all of this, and it's the same stipulation. So, yeah, 315 is basically the rearrest, 311. Where is it? Hold on a second. 311, which I dropped the link to this. It's all in my playlist. This is 311, where the pop up uh, hearing happened, where Will Wooten um, reduced the conspiracy bonds. He got basically like a 40% discount off of those bonds. Um, and then this is where it came out that Ernell had not posted the bonds. She had not posted the dismissal. This is where she basically was like, oh, I didn't, I did, was I supposed to do that? Um, okay, let's, let's hear this part a little bit. Do I have the sound on? Let's see. Oops. Your Honor, I can speak to that. As to 23CP215407 at our last hearing, the state did move to null process or to decline those that particular case. Uh, we will just revive that case in an indictment. Okay. So okay, so. So was the dis because I didn't see the dismissal filed yet. Um, I I did not file one, Your Honor. Should I send you a? Oh, okay. No, as long as you file, because I looked at it today and I didn't see the indictment. That's why. Okay, so. All right, they'll dismiss it now, sir. Just so you know, um, they can also, uh, if she says they're going to revive it in an indictment, they could uh, indict your case, <clears throat> and then. Uh, Rearrest you on a grand jury warrant, just so you know. Okay. And I don't know about the case in front of Judge Edwards or the other indicted cases if you've got bonds or what's happened with those. So after Nesto was over there playing around with Sonia on the phone about Sonia being in her feelings about that damn phone call, um, he went and sat for this <laughs> at 5.30 in the afternoon and got his face crunched for real, okay? That's why his attitude is a little bit... Yeah, he's, a, he's, he's in a whole different situation on the next call, okay? So he was, he was pissed because I think he was nervous about court, but he was anticipating he had court on this day and I think he thought it was going to go very different. 
Hold on. one second, guys. Okay, good night, dear. Um, I think he thought it was going to go very different. So let's just finish up listening. I dropped the link to this. I'll put everything in the description box for, or in the first pin comment, I'll put this all together. But yeah, this was 311 and 315 was the rearrest and the issuing of the new case number for the CP charges and um, just a oh, complete mess. Okay, so I hope that that straightens that out. Um, Hey, 504. Hi, Tian. Uh, Tiana. Zen Frequency. She ain't fin yeah, she's not. If you're talking about um, DDA Ernell, no, she wasn't doing anything but refreshing this. Um, girl, Karma came right back. Okay. So they were sitting up there playing on the phone. You know, this whole weekend, all I could think of was it is so like, I should have had a timeline from the very beginning. Like I should have been documenting like <laughs> whatever. Somebody should be documenting this like on a, in a timeline um, just for our sanity. Three levels when they gave the new case number. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Um, yes. All right, guys. I feel like I'm a little bit okay. I know we're behind on comments. Let me click on code name Nikki. Arnell said I did not. Yeah, I didn't file one. Yeah, was I supposed to do that? <laughs> um, I can see girl Nesto is pissed at this moment. So it's good to kind of be able to think like, okay, what was actually going on? Because we have the luxury of time stamping some of these things that were actually occurring we have a kind of a little bit of a picture of what was going on at this time. Okay, let's keep going. So this is what was happening on 311 at 530 in the afternoon. So at this point, him and Sonia are over here playing on the phone and he's getting ready to go to court because he thinks he's going to get a little discount on his bonds and he's getting his ass up on out of there, right? Because when he talked to Dre on March 9th, which we'll listen to that tomorrow, He's already talking that cool stuff about he's getting ready to get out. He's got this going on, that going on. He's he's all excited, right? Well, my trap phone. Okay. I'll be trapping. My trap phone right here. Yeah, I'm trapping. Okay. I have a lot of work to do. I'll, I'll, you'll just call me after. No, don't call me. I'm out of here. You said she was like, well, just call me up. Well, no, don't call me up. I'm out of this. See, Sonia is a wishy-washy ass female. And I think that this was her pull to grab at his balls. Um, it's one or the other. Either this was a whole Tyler Perry skit. That's one scenario. Or number two, I'm getting ready to, bull to pull, twist, and grab his balls because she doesn't like hearing stuff secondhand from the internet. And she also doesn't like me and Nyla and Pam and whoever else is on the YouTube streets analyzing and reacting to these calls being painfully correct about this ninja that she's the, that ma'am is 55 and sis, this is, this is a dumb, like you're wasting a lot of time, but sis, if this is what you like, then you keep pressing on, but we, I'm at least I, I'm still going to be talking about it. I'm going to still talk about it and we still going to laugh about it. And, um, we still going to react about it. Okay. Call me after court. Let me know. He's court. laughing. Call me after court and let me know. So we know how court went, right? <laughs> we know how court went. Hello. Did y'all hear that? She said, call me after court. Okay. So this is before court. So they're playing on the phone. They're playing. We're breaking up. She's playing with his nuts. She's playing. I don't care anymore. You're on your own. And then we get ready to see how it goes down. I'll, you'll just call me after. No, don't call me. I'm not a dude. Call me after court. And he's me. laughing. Don't call me. I'll be trapping. I'll be trapping. My trap phone right here. I'll be trapping. Okay. I have a lot of work to do. I'll, I'll, you'll just call me after. No, don't call me. I'm out of here. 
Call me after court. Let me know how court is going. Know what? Call me get- after court. You don't care anymore. You're out of it. Call me after court. Take a minute and shit. Uh, hey, look here, man. All this forgiveness. He's happy because he thinks he's getting his discount on his bonds and he's getting ready to give some people some numbers so they can go run that money. So and then he's got Crail Lewis set up so he can go work on Henry County. He thinks he's getting ready to get his ass. He's going to Tootsie Slide and damn moonwalk out of Fulton County. But <laughs> jokes on him. All is forgiven. You can't forgive yourself for me. Yes, I can. If I, if, I'm if, not a if, Christian. I don't forgive. Oh, forget. I hold grudges and stay mad. No, that's not true. That's not true. Yes, that's not true. No, that's not true. That's not true. That's not true. Don't lie on yourself. I don't. Say, no, you don't, because I'm going to give you that. I done seen y'all down. You get pissed off somebody or somebody get pissed off, and you still try to uh, take the high road and, and fix it. So don't talk that. Don't bring that to me now. Oh, you would have named this scenario because that is not me. That is you. That is you. <laughs> Girl, this is a whole, this is a whole, uh, yeah, this is, this is all a scenario that could be like really in a database. It really just with a like, okay, this date happened, this happened on this day, this happened on that day. Um, the day Shirley's car got, da, 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 da. I mean, there's so many dates to log into like an Excel spreadsheet to really be able to pull the full narrative and story. But again, like if anyone who's new here, just go to my timeline. I mean, it's pretty much all there. But yeah, as far as just a a visual um, line of sight as to what happened when and how, it's yeah. Um uh, you know, they like to play. Like I said, they're on the phone playing right now. We're not we're not gonna even get into that. They're silly. They're silly and they are on the level of Santa Claus, Easter Bunny, and the Tooth Fairy. Like they just that's where they're they are in their walk. Um, even Sonya, who is not a believer. Um, it's on some Santa Claus tooth fairy and, um, Easter bunny. Okay. They, I don't, I can't even have a serious conversation about that with these folks. Um, because it's on some very juvenile, you know, it's these two are not, we can't have, we can't talk about that with them. (laughs) It's not me. I I totally don't want to say man. She said, I hope Bird is and stay mad. Well, you know what? You want I to, sit on that. You, you I'm too old to stand. I think also, so that being said, guys, so think of this too. So he thinks he's, this time, he thinks he's really getting out, right? Where's he supposed to be bonding out? Where, wasn't he supposed to be going over to Sonya's house? So, he knows he's got to get his shit together because he's about to mess up his address. He's about to mess up his ride. He's about he was he was messing up with his arrangement, right? You see how she plays with him right before in his mind, we know he's not getting out, but in his mind, he's bonding out in a couple of days. Because Hannah was already working on petitioning to try to get another reduction. And here's the day. You're getting a reduction on Monday. And then you can see about getting these other bonds. He's been in touch with Crail Lewis. He's lining him up for Henry County. He's supposed to go over to Big Head's house. And you see how she's playing with him? And then she says, well, call me after court. Well, you, you can't sit on that. I'm on. sitting on that. Huh? You're sitting on, you're sitting on it. I'm sitting on that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm too old to stand. <laughs> Diva Ray's laughing. Bad. No, but yeah. As, as polite as I'm being, I still, and I already told you, I, I can be extremely serious at a person and have the same type of conversation. If I don't blow up, I've okay. blown up one, one time, and, and that was on a clinic. I heard that she was shocked. So I don't talk like that. 
whether I'm happy or mad. I just talk one way. Um, he, so we're going to hear that in the next call. He says that, uh, Lamont suggested that he pays the bond. Did we already pass that part? Cause we skipped a little bit at the beginning. He said, Oh, Lamont suggested that he pay my bond. Let's listen to the rest of this. And we'll go back to the beginning a little bit. We skipped some cause we heard most of this. We heard the beginning yesterday before we were rudely interrupted by my computer, not having enough power. Um, when I was in the hotel lobby, um, I think he said that um, Lamont had suggested he pay the bond and he was talking to damn uh, Dre. Just keep in mind, he's he's making all, all of a sudden he's talking to Dre because remember Dre and him hadn't they they'd been talking, but not as frequently. It had been like a month or so before they had speak spoken and so we know today he spoke to Dre on 3-9, okay? 3-11 is a Monday, so 3-9 would have been what? Saturday, okay? He said, I didn't know that Dre had been off, you know, the whole previous week whenever he talked to Sonia. Um, he was making phone calls because he's trying to do what? Get his damn bond together. Now he's reaching out to people, okay? Just behind the scenes, this is all in preparation for he has now got bonds straight across the board. And he, in his mind, though, he thinks the CP is gone. The clunker is that the CP is not gone. Okay. He's going to find out today or Nell never filed it. So even though he has bonds straight across the board, he thought the CP was gone, which would eliminate $700,000 worth of bond that still needs to be come up with. He thought it was gone. He thought that that was going to be dismissed. Sis hadn't filed it and then stated that it would be revived in a grand jury. But little did he know, she didn't even bother to do it. She just went ahead and refreshed it, gave it a new case number. They rearrested his ass four days later. Okay. So Sonya playing with this man does seem a little bit cruel. But at the end of the day... Like I said, nothing happens that we don't ask for. This man has been playing with this lady all this time, playing up in Shirley's face, entertaining this woman, and being a complete asshole. So honestly, I don't feel bad for him that he's got this lady playing in his face, playing with his emotions, messing up whatever he's got going on, because this was a conscious decision for him to choose Miss Fun Girl over your wife who actually could have handled that business and had you out whenever she so choose, whenever she chose to make the proper connections to get the monies funded to get his ass up out of there. Okay. She, if anyone had the access to the money is her, whether through her good check or that list of influential people that she knows who have long money that would give her the money. Right. This idiot goes with this weirdo. Okay. So where was he going to get the money? Allegedly, Lamont. Same, the same point should get across whether I'm talking to you. It's the words that I'm saying is what you should pay attention to, not the tone. Okay, so my, my, the way I talk. How this is the I worst talk? single code you've ever watched. How do I talk? How do I come off when I talk? It seems like everybody Country. got a problem. Okay. I don't know. What are you talking about? The tone or, or the things that come out your mouth? Things that come out my mouth, tone, all this. How, I'm just trying to figure out. Maybe I'm explaining things. I didn't have a problem until you started talking slick out the mouth about me directly. Now, uh, how you talk outside of that, I don't care because, like I had to explain all, to people, all, I'm not looking for uh, educated conversation with big words and, and properness and all that. You can talk however you talk. I don't care about all that. I just don't like what you said. I don't care well, you how you what? throw it out your mouth. Well, if I said something, like I said. And then she called him pimping. Like, that whole... He said, how do I sound when I talk? She said, country. And he said, no. Like, how does... Girl, she's... He... You know what? He's a weak-ass type man. He's a type of man who really relies on a woman. And it's sad because... He can't pick his balls up and be like, you know what? I'm going to thug this out on my own. The fact that he still decides to deal with her just shows how much of a weak man he is. 
that he just can't let his association with her go. She's not shit and she can't do anything for you, but let him think it. He always needs to have some sort of female on his team being his secretary. The tone or, or the things that come out your mouth. The way I talk. How do I talk? How, to, how do I talk? How do I come off when I talk? It seems like it's Wait. Okay. saying okay. not the tone. Okay, so my, my, the, the way I talk. I heard that she was shocked. I don't talk like that. Whether I'm happy or mad, I just talk one way. Because it's, no, it's no the same, I, I, the I, I, same I, I, point should get across. Okay. Whether I'm talking to you, it's the words that I'm saying okay. is what you should pay no, no, to, not the tone. Okay, so my, my, the, the way I talk, how do I talk? How, who, how do I talk? How do I come off when I talk? It seems like everybody Country. got a problem. Country, okay. Okay. I don't know. What are you talking about? The tone or, or the things that come out your mouth? Things that come out my mouth, tone, all this. How, I'm just trying to figure out. But maybe I'm going to explain things. I don't even have way. a problem until you start talking slick out the mouth about me directly. Now, uh, she didn't have a problem with anything he was saying until he said something to her about her directly. She doesn't care about anything else that was said. She doesn't care about him talking about Shirley's kid, Shirley, Dion, anybody. She doesn't care. She only cares about herself. When he started talking about her, when he said something about her to her, referencing her, that's when she got pissed. Uh, How you talk outside of that, I don't care because like I had to explain to people, uh, I'm not looking... Like I have explained to people... For uh, educated conversation with big words and, and properness and all that. You can talk however you talk. I don't care about all that. You talk outside of that. I don't care because, like I had to first explain first to people, first, uh, I'm not looking for uh, educated conversation with big words and, and properness and all that. You can talk. Like I'd spoken to people about, like, listen to how she says it. Basically, she has talked to people about how he speaks. People have, this is my thought. People have called her out on this troublesome ass man who's almost 60 years old who can't formulate a sentence. And she, and this is what she told them that she's not looking for intellectual conversation or big words or anything from that from him. What is it that you're looking for, sis? What is it? That's what maybe they're asking her. Listen to what she says. Maybe I'm explaining things. I don't even have a problem until you start talking slick out the mouth about me directly. Now, uh, how you talk outside of that, I don't care because, like I had to explain to people, uh, I'm not looking for uh, educated conversation with big words and, and properness and all that. You imagine you're talking to someone and you say, Yeah, I'm not looking for educated conversation or big words from out of him. Well, sis, what is it that you're looking for? You can't talk like he's unintel like he's unintelligible. Okay, you cannot understand. And like, what is it that he's talking about? I have one. I have one nerve left, and Sonya is tap dancing on it. Missed you, friend. Oh, you guys are so sweet. You guys are the sweetest. Thank you. I missed you guys too. I missed you guys too. I knew I had to go live tonight. I ha absolutely had to. Um. So you you guys caught that, right? She low-key called him uneducated and stupid. That's that's me saying that. You said uneducated, and he doesn't realize it. C can you believe that? He's too dumb to hear that she has had conversations about him and his inability to be able to articulate himself or to express an idea, and that she is not even looking for that from him. She doesn't care about that. All she cares about is when he was talking about her directly, but as far as who he is and how he represents himself as a man and as a person, yeah, she doesn't care. And she's had conversations with people about it. I'm, I mean, it's like conversations with who, why, and how. People are asking you about me or are you just running up and telling people like about me? Like, what? Like, you can talk however you talk. I don't care about all that. I just don't like what you said. I don't care well, you how you what? throw it out your mouth. Well, if I said something, <laughs> like I said, 
you just mm-hmm. from, you're just from the nineties. That's all. You just you just from the nineties, and you think every man talk that kind of talk. That that's it. Oh, she's not from the nineties. This was born in nineteen sixty eight. She's not from the nineties. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, <laughs> that is not what it is. It has nothing to do with me being from the nineties. It has no. nothing to do with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's that, that's really fine. it gotta be shit. I I can't straight my bin until I get out of here. I, I straight my bin when I get out of here. I can sit down, mm. dissect the shit. I can say, yeah, no. It ain't nothing yeah. nice that. You act like it was a, a third a, a third party conversation story. It's not. It's out your mouth to my yeah, ears. Yeah, That's yeah, it. yeah, I understand what I'm trying to say to you. See, to we, say, we, we, we on a phone. We, I have to talk the way I got to talk. And I don't been. I don't oh, no, 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 no. You wasn't talking. I think that she, again, he was very close and thinking that he was getting out of jail. And I think this was her power play to squeeze that nut sack, excuse my language, y'all, but uh, this is what she's doing to get his ass in line, in order, before he enters that home, okay? I think she was pulling a power play because also, I think she was also feeling stupid that YouTube streets were right. We've been telling her about this guy and how he's been using her, and she heard it out of her, out of his mouth, on the level of what this relationship really is. And now he's getting ready to enter that home. And she was playing. I don't think she meant it. I think she was going to be all too happy to receive him. But I think she was playing with the internet because she was trying to cool some things off. Sonia hatches up these plans and they're all horrible because she's not smart either. Okay. Um, It was bad when you dropped by son. Girl, it's it's very bad. Thank you, Mr. Marvin. I appreciate that. He says, it's bad when you are dropped by Sonya. I think this was a whole entire power play to get him in line before he comes to that house. But what happened was they all got their faces crunched when Sir got back from court because she's telling him at this moment, call me when you get out of court, okay? And we know what happened at court, right? This happened at court. Ernell was like, uh, yeah, I didn't um we're just gonna bring that back on a um we're just gonna bring that back on a grand jury indictment. And what happened? This happened. He got rearrested on Friday. Okay, he got rearrested Friday and got refreshed charges on March 15th. March 11th, he went to court. Sis said, oh, yeah, I never, I didn't, oh, yeah, I never did that. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to bring that back. Okay. And by Friday, he was rearrested. So, sir, sir's sir been having a bad day for a long time. Okay. This was a very bad week for Nesta. No, 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 no. He was, he was I, straight out the mouth with it. Okay. And, and I and and listen, I told you this. Listen, listen, they talk because you already cannot talk about your defense. So there is no reason for you to talk, Cody, because what they're going to try to do, like he was telling you, is dissect it. And they're going to dissect it wrong and try to show up in court and run with it. Because, oh, no, but when he said that, he meant this. But when he said that, he meant this. You know how police do when they be listening on people on the drug dealers. And, and, and when you go there and get me four tires, okay, when he said four tires, he meant four keys. You know how um, police are? That's exactly what they try to do. And they try to go to court and make that be the conversation you had instead of just flat out. Just say what it is because you ain't talking about nothing illegal. And you're not talking about anything wrong. Okay. Right. okay. Just, just, just say what it is out your mouth when it comes to that stuff. Most okay. stuff. Okay. But we know we don't say names, and that's fine. You don't have to say no names, you know, because we know you're not talking about nobody. So when she went live, and told us what was going on with her and Nesto and what had just happened the day before. We'll we'll bring that up for a minute. Um, when she went live on March 12th, now all of a sudden, so let's let's also, when we get into March 12th, we'll think about this too in context. I think he was really, so by the time this is, they get off the phone, he goes to court 
he's going to be pissed. We already know he's going to be pissed, right? Um, and then she goes live because now he's mad. So let's, we're going to, we're going to get into that in just a second because this is, this is basically over. In the situation, you know? Okay. All right, country. Hold on. He said, okay, country. They're they're totally just playing. They're playing on the phone right now. Huh? Oh, the dog Hey. Hey, doggy. Hello. Yeah. Okay, that is the bank. Yeah, the bank with the dog. No, no, no. It was a dog. And I'm at the bank. And they go, that girl, she ain't doing that shit. Knock, knock. Everybody on the floor now. I need to see a banker. Go on, how are your business in? Yeah, get up off my phone for the crack in the school. All right, thank you. Bye. Wait a second. Did she just walk into the bank and said, I need to see a banker? Okay, that is yeah, banker. Yeah, yeah, the bank with the dog? No, no, no. It was a dog. And I'm at the bank. And they go, that girl, she ain't doing that shit on the phone. Knock, knock. Everybody on the floor All now. Right. I need to see a banker. Knock, knock. I need to see a banker. Like she has some credit. Sis has 720 credit. And she thinks in 2024, when money is very expensive to borrow, I don't believe she has any collateral. She has no income. And uh, and she looks like, you know, she looks like she's seen better days. Um, thinks that she's going to sashay her broke behind into somebody's bank to go get some money. Was she going into the bank to try to get a loan for this ninja? What what was what are you seeing a banker for? Sis, you on social security. Your disability check is not enough to cover a loan. Does she think because she got a bankruptcy and she had a 720? I don't think we didn't go over that video yet that had the three calls on it. Don't think I forgot about that, y'all. I know I've been gone for a few days and we got we still got some stuff to catch up on. But don't think that I did not hear when sis said she had a 720. Sis thinks her shit don't stink because she got a 720 credit score with a fresh bankruptcy. Girl, stop Girl, it. How are you yeah, get up off my phone for the crack in the school. Uh, right, what was she going to get a loan for? What was she? She was going to get a loan to go get his ass up out of jail. Thank you for using Global Tell Link. Thank you for watching. Please like. That's just what I think. Okay, let's go to. Let's see. All right, so that was what we just listened to. This is boy. Boy going to be mad. It's the soap opera of it all. So this is at 319 on March 12th. Okay, let's get into it. Talk fast. It's got a dollar left and it's going to go up. Go ahead. That, that is my social I sent you. I know. I got it. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about, but when you... I wonder if why she needed his social... Maybe some of you guys were thinking that's how she got into his Instagram. I wonder if he allowed her to go and use his social and apply for a loan, maybe. Okay. Can you get some more money on there? I need to call you and Dion on the same line. I need to talk to both of y'all because this is not making no sense to me. None of it's making no sense. I'm no, not a fool. I'm, no, I'm not a fool. Listen, I'm not a fool. I don't talk about people that are doing something for me. I don't talk about people that are doing stuff for me. Like, would I be stupid enough to talk about somebody who's doing stuff for me? Yes, you would, and you did. You absolutely did. Yes, you did. Dion's not going to help you on that because he doesn't like Big Head. I know it ain't none of me talking now. You're saying it's another. I know it ain't none of me. I I know it ain't none of me. Mm -hmm. so he's mad now he's very mad this has now been going on for for what this is the third day so this started on the 11th she confronted him about the comments he didn't want to hear about it and then yesterday they were playing on the phone about it she was kind of lukewarm in and out mad not mad helping not helping you know playing cute and coy 
And now, and then he goes to a hearing last night where he did get a reduction on some of his bonds, but he also found out that one of his bonds still hasn't gone away yet. And I'm sure the underlying is that he's pissed, but she still wants to play. That's why I told you, wouldn't if, if he got out on bond, I promise you, she's the type of chick that's going to have the police over there within a week. Mm -hmm. No, I, I know it ain't on me. I ain't got a fucking lie. I ain't never lied to you. So I know it ain't mm -hmm. fucking me. So mm -hmm. when you, you, you get someone on there, you just, there, I, you just don't that? remember. That's what uh, it is. No, no, Because no, it was no, July. What? It was in July. You probably just don't remember. It's a lot of phone calls. You might, you're not going to remember all of them. And no. the way you said it, you said it kind of passively. You didn't say it like it was the bulk of the conversation. So it's the way you said it, you may not remember because he didn't. He just chuckled and then said, yeah, that she can't afford me. Talking about his grill and the job playing on me. I'm say right now, if that, if that kill our relationship, fuck it, man. I'm going to the whole day, man. I can't take this shit no more. No, 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 I'm done, man. I I'm already done. told I'm you. Done. I'm done. He's such a fucking baby. He's such a baby. So silly. I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm no, 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 no. I, 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 no. Yesterday. No, they're not. That's if, listen. Man, just done. hush. Uh, just hush. You're not done. You're not done. done. Did I'm you done. read what I said? Did you, did you read you what said I said? You're done. So I no, done. before that, I said the two, I the two things that you need that I said that I would do, I said I'm going to do. And those are two things to get that biggest thing off of you. I said I would still do that because you do not deserve to go to jail for something you did not do. I'm not that mad. So, therefore, I said I'm still going to do that. So, you're not done because if that big thing come off of you, you're good. And those two things that I'm doing is the thing that's going to get you off of that if it proves what it proves. So, I'm gonna call uh, Deontay. I sent Dre the number to Joe, so he got Joe. He got Joe's number. He's not finna call. Ain't nobody doing that for me like that. I don't care what nobody mad or whatever. That shit is not what they say it is. Okay. Well, he said that he said he's gonna help you with your mom. Listen, man, I'm talking about. You know what? I'm, I'm something gonna make me start talking, and I don't want to do that. I trust nothing after what I saw yesterday. Okay. Don't folks say that I had this going Fulton on. Fulton County is just an unorganized situation. That's all that is. Man. It's, just... it's very unorganized. And then I looked at, like I told you, like when I read the stuff that you sent me, the, the other. I mean, it didn't have anything to do with being unorganized. I don't think, I don't know how long Ornell has been in her position. She may have been there for, I don't even know how long. Let's see. Um, Ornell. Uh, Winfrey, she's been around for a minute. But as far as in her position, um, I'm sure she knows what documents need to be filed when you say that you're going to dismiss something. When you say you're going to dismiss something, then I would imagine that you know that you are to dismiss it. Um... Miss Winfrey has extensive experience representing the state of Georgia in criminal prosecutions, having served the last three years as a prosecutor in Atlanta Judicial Circuit while initially serving. Uh, this is her right here. Um, she is the deputy district attorney of Special Victims Division and Human Trafficking. And Ms. Winfrey. Uh, for the has served the last three years as a prosecutor in Atlanta Judicial Circuit while initially serving as an assistant district attorney for the non complex trial division. Miss Winfrey handled hundreds of felony cases from start to finish. Then Miss Winfrey was promoted to senior assistant district attorney and was assigned to crimes against women and children and human trafficking, wherein she landed human trafficking, uh, rape where she handled human trafficking and rape prosecutions. Ms. Winfrey continued her to soar in her experience and ex expertise in the area of human trafficking. Ms. Winfrey was promoted to chief senior assistant district attorney of human trafficking of the office of Fulton County district attorney during her rise 
through the district attorney's office, Ms. Winfrey was recognized and named as the 100 most powerful and influential women in Georgia by Women Looking Ahead magazine. In addition, Ms. Winfrey serves at the Georgia Statewide Human Trafficking Task Force. Um, yet Ms. Winfrey, I'm sure, knows exactly what to do. She is also a sorority sister to Miss Fanny, <laughs> a.k.a. Fanny Willis. But as they call her on these YouTube streets, uh, these two, simple and slow, um, yes, Miss Winfrey is also a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Okay. Um, from judicial understudy to handling complex civil litigation and criminal defense prosecution, Miss Winfrey is a proven trial attorney. Okay. Um, ma'am knows exactly what to do. Okay. Um, legal scholarship to serve the citizens in the community through the uh, through the district attorney Willis's administration. Okay, so ma'am is very well accomplished. She has 19 years of litigation experience and established a record of excellence. Anyway, ma'am said she was going to dismiss it, and that just was not the case. I guess she probably was like, My bad. Okay, cross country cruiser, thank you so much for gifting. We're gonna see who how that how that panned out in just a second. Um Thank you so much. I appreciate those gifted memberships. Vicky to the Veil. Um, did he give her this SN that matches with Roderick, Marcus, Victor, or Ernest? That's a great question. And which DOB did he give? Well, she knows his DOB. Nesto's identity is like Sudoku or Rubik's Cube. Okay. He has many. He has many. Okay. Don't call him Lenny. He has many. Okay. Um, let me see where this is. Uh, let me let this monitor is catching up. The gifting. Let me. Okay, just a second, guys. Let me let me see how these memberships. Okay, let's see. Heart that one. Okay, let's see. Thank you to so much to the sis who gifted. I appreciate that so much. Um, Dat Nick, you got gifted. Okay, Cheatham or Chetham, you got gifted. V V, you got gifted. Valerie Daughtry, you got gifted. Michelle. You got gifted. There's a, you know, yesterday early, I saw a couple of people who were asking, like, how do I get gifted? You have to go. So click the member join button, like you are going to join my membership. And then up on the top right hand corner, the three, um, the ellipsis is what they call it. The you click on those three, the three dots on the right of the join box. So you might need to do this on your computer and you opt in to membership gifting. If you've opted into membership gifting, I think you opt into membership gifting, period. Um, but if you've never done that, do that because the algorithm, not the algorithm, but Al, Al from the algorithm department, um, the computer basically selects. It's like a random whoever's in here and you participate or whoever's, whoever's in here and whatever the computer, you know, makes a decision to do that's how it goes so thankfully i'm glad that that's not something that i have to choose that is something that happens automatically um welcome 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 to anyone who's new here anyone just coming in welcome um we are in the middle of going through this so and we're gonna we might even get into dion i don't know we're i feel like we're kind of good on time so maybe um if that's what if that's what y'all want to do we'll see um, cause I'm wide awake. I don't know, maybe cause I did get a lot of sleep in the car. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's keep going. So this is March 12th and sir is bothered because Sonia is playing with him the long way. And he just found out that when he was told in February that his CP charges were dismissed, well, guess what? It wasn't. It won't. It won't. And the paperwork was never filed because maybe um, there was some pushback on that. I mean, maybe maybe it was a time situation and then they realized, yeah, we're not going to do that. That's, let's not so quick do that. And um, now it's actually time for him to really get out. 
and we know how this went. So let's listen, and then we will we'll try and go over to Dion and see what's going on. He's not finna call. Ain't nobody doing that to me like that. I don't care if nobody mad or whatever. That shit is not what they say it is. Okay. Well, he said that you see people love you with your mom. Listen, man. I'm talking about. You know what? I'm, I'm something gonna make me start talking, and I don't want to do that. I trust nothing after what I saw yesterday. Okay, don't folks say that I had this going. Fulton on. County is just an unorganized situation. That's all that is. Man, it's, it's very unorganized. And then I looked at. The I just wish she would shut up and let him get a thought out. He's trying to talk about his experience yesterday in court, and all we saw was this. Mm -hmm. All we saw was sitting him sitting there stuck and Judge Manning basically letting him know that um, he could get rearrested and that they're not basically they're not driving. They're not dropping it. And he's she won't the let the man talk. Out, there's one. It's in front of Judge Williams. She won't let the man talk. So we saw him. This was him on March 11th. OK. Okay, sir, you got a little bit of a discount on some of your bonds, but take your old, take your old ass. Um, yeah, the CP, yeah, it's not gone, sir. Okay, let's watch him do the walk away. <laughs> 610 days? Yeah, this is, this is, this is, this is Miss Winfrey, okay? 407 at our last hearing. The state did move to null process or to decline those that particular case, uh, we will just revive that case in an indictment. Ooh, ooh. Okay. I think Judge Manning was really thrown okay, off so, at that moment. So was the just because I didn't see the dismissal filed yet. Um, I w I did not file one, Your Honor. Should I send you a? Oops. Okay. No, as long as you find, because I looked at it today and I didn't see the indictment. That's why. Okay, so. All right, they'll dismiss it now, sir. Just so you know, um, they can also, uh, if she says they're going to revive it in an indictment, they could uh, indict your case <clears throat> and then uh, rearrest you on a grand jury warrant, just so you know. Okay, and I don't know about the case in front of Judge Edwards or the other indicted cases, if you've got bonds or what's happened with those. For the consent bond, will Miss Rhonda be preparing those consent bonds and submitting those to the court? And uh, Miss Robinson, you read my mind. I was about to say I can. This is my thing, Hannah. I know Hannah's got a bunch of cases, but when a week had gone by, two weeks had gone by, three weeks. I know we had talked about it plenty. I'm like, guys, I'm looking. I have not seen that dismissal filed. You guys were like, oh, it's it's probably late. Oh, it's. A let me tell you something, guys. When these these hap these things happen, the very next day, you'll be surprised how quickly this stuff gets filed. Okay, uh, and I mean surprise, like within twenty four hours, right? There's something that happens the next day; it's available for a certified copy. And the fact that a week had gone by, two weeks had gone by, three weeks had gone by, I'm like, y'all, it's still not filed yet. I haven't seen this dismissal. It's not dismissed yet in the system. This isn't happening. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's dismissed. Okay. Yeah, it's still not. Sis didn't file that. Okay. Hannah should have been checking in on just as much as we were. We're on the damn YouTube streets and damn helping out. Hannah had not even, I don't know if she checked on it or not, but she should have known that ma'am had never filed the document. Had she filed the document, I don't know. I mean, maybe, I, I don't know if that would have changed some things, if he would have gotten out or not. But it, we, I would have been really ashamed if he had gotten out, spent money, and got released, and then they turned around and came and rearrested him over to at a uh, damn Sonia's house, okay? Because um, that very well could have happened too, okay? Um, but Will Wooten was sitting there giving him a whole, you know, 40% discount because all of his charges had $5,000 bonds per per count and they went down to $3,000. So basically he got like a 40% reduction in bond. And then number four item on the pop-up calendar was the fact that this case had still not been dismissed and turns out sis one dismissing it.
Okay. All right. Let's get back to the call. So he's trying to say he can't believe anything after what he saw yesterday because what was supposed to be dismissed was not dismissed. And he's trying to tell what happened. And this fucking weirdo ass thirsty chick won't let him talk. He's not finna call. Ain't nobody doing that for me like this. Man, I don't care what nobody mad or whatever. That shit is not what they say it is. Okay. Well, he can't think he's going to help you with your mom. Listen, man. I'm talking about. You know what? I'm, I'm, something's going to make me start talking, and I don't want to do that. I trust nothing after what I saw yesterday. Okay? Don't folks say that I had this going on. Fulton County is just an unorganized situation. That's all that is. Man. It's, it's very unorganized. And then I look. It's not that that's all that is stupid. Sonia, ma'am was not trying to dismiss that case. I don't know if she was, you know, if she was pulling her own power play. But at the end of the day, whenever this is what I think, um, Dominique Devereaux, uh, Shirley's fashion um, with the Dominique Devereaux, uh, Diane Carroll photo. This is what I think. I think that this is just me speculating. I think that when they said that they were going to dismiss this case. Number one, Nesto has been in jail he's on that list that Fani sees once a month or once a week of people who've been in the County for X period of time. Right. Number one, he's on that list. Okay. That's number one. Number two, his crimes are not like your average. <coughs> They're not average. He's got a lot of shit going on from conspiracy, impersonating lawyers, um, all kinds of, bad acts all around Fulton County to sexual assault, to rape, to damn child pornography, all kinds of nonsense. I think that that particular, I think that sometimes these dismissals and things like that have to go up the food chain to be signed off on. And I think Fani had had a very bad day in court around that time, the beginning of February, when she got called into Judge McAfee's courtroom and had to sit and talk on her boyfriend, Nate. And the timing was not good for the sign-off on Nesto's package, whether the DA had to review it or not, based on the nature of his charges, or there's some sort of peer review. I would imagine, even as Deputy District Attorney, there has to be some sort of peer review, whether it's Fonnie Willis or one of the, there's a, a different, there's another layer in between Fonnie and the DDAs. That's the executive district attorney. So there's the Fonnie, there's the executive, executive district attorneys, and then there are the deputy district attorneys. Um, there might be a couple other little layers in between there as well, but that is like the core of the leadership. And they may have some sort of peer review before they sign off on these. And I don't think that he passed peer review. I think that I, I don't see her saying we're going to dismiss something and have no intentions to do it. But I think that when she said it was going to be dismissed, it wasn't either peer reviewed or signed off on a complete dismissal because I don't, I don't think she didn't know after, you know, she's got almost 20 years of experience and she's been working for Fulton County. I think she knows how the ropes go. I, I just don't think that, I think that she knew that it wasn't being dismissed. She said it was going to be dismissed. I don't think it had approval to be dismissed either by peer review or leadership review. Uh, you know, it's not being, we're going to still take this to grand jury because she said, we'll just revive it with a grand jury, but why drop the charges if you're just going to bring it back, just go ahead and refresh it. I think that as she may have spoken prematurely about dismissing it and there was no dismissal to happen. Or again, just good old fashioned power play. Okay. Um, not sure. But yeah, it could be any of those things. Um, but yeah, let's keep going. The lawyer uh, have to check with their, yeah, they have to get it some sort of a peer review. I would imagine either maybe not a peer review of other deputy district attorneys, but I would even imagine because he's got stuff with Will Wooten, I'm sure that they do some sort of round table of, okay, 
you know, case management, something of that nature, especially when there's some bleed over with different departments. Um, also when someone is potentially dangerous and has a lot of enemies on a, on a witness list. And this guy has some crimes that there are quite a few women who are concerned about their welfare if they were to let him out on the streets. He says he's harmless, but ask those other people that. I don't believe it's unorganized. I believe that they're not telling their left hand what the right hand is doing. That's what I think. Um, I'm sure, you know, we all know there's problems in Fulton County, but um, they certainly know how to hold on to his ass, right? Um, I also think Fonny Scandal needs this Nesto case for a political move for other things going on. I think there's more high profile things going on, like Young Thug. I mean, there's a lot going on in Fulton County outside of Nesto. I don't think Nesto is as high profile as they want to think he is. He's not. People know about what's going on. But if this was as high profile as it really is, there would be 10,000 people in this live right now. There would be more people. Watch. Like, it's really leveled off as far as, you know, sometimes, obviously, you know, there's a very large, there's a good amount of people who are interested in watching this on an everyday basis. But if this was like Diddy, like we can't compare this to Diddy. People have lives and there's 20,000 people in a live for Diddy. Okay. Nesto is not bringing the, you know, he's not bringing it to the yard like that. I mean, the, he is not world news. He is Atlanta. He's some Atlanta news on some scamming stuff. And Shirley has not even spoken about this guy. She's not shedding a tear publicly. And nobody, Steve Harvey showed nobody's even caring about this guy anymore. Like it's, there's been weeks that I don't even mention the Steve Harvey show anymore. Like before it was like Steve Harvey, this Steve Harvey, that da, 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 da. this has become about a, a, a gigolo ass cheating ass husband of Shirley Strawberry who works on the Steve Harvey show. And we don't even talk about that that much anymore. And I mean, Dion was so right about that because it has become more about Nesto and his side piece, his side, side hoe bitch. Um, then it is even about the marriage or anything that was going on with he and Shirley Strawberry. It has, it has completely pivoted, even though Sonia could still disappear tomorrow and we'll be fine. Um, but at the end of the day, right now, the dialogue revolves around him and the side piece, right? Um, okay, let's get back into I'm a, we're just gonna listen to this part and I'm gonna try hard to not break in. Listen, man, I'm talking about you know what? I'm I'm something's gonna make me start talking and I don't wanna do that. I ain't trust nothing after what I saw yesterday. Okay. Don't folks say that I had this going Fulton on. County is just an unorganized situation. That's all that is. Man, it's just... it's very unorganized. And then I looked at like I told you, like when I read the stuff that you sent me. The, the other thing that they try to get put on you is in Arizona. So I don't even know why that, that's out of their jurisdiction. So why is that even like what they should have put in motion for, out of, for the jurisdictions in those two big situations that you have, that shouldn't even be. I don't care none where you started. Shit, listen, man, none of this shit means nothing. None of this is nothing straight up. Mm -hmm. None of this is nothing. That's what yeah. I'm saying. This, this is not me. This is not me, man. My whole shit is just done. I'm just being straight up with you. I'm, I'm just, I'm burnt out. I'm well, like I said, I, I, I'm I working on the two things. I'm getting the thing notarized so I can take it to the bank and get that. And then um, I'm going to take the other thing and, and fax it so I can get the other stuff. And then I'm going to put that where it needs to go. You know what I'm saying? So. Let, let's say something to you. That, that DA, that lady don't give a fuck about none of that shit. She is a. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Fuck, but I saw it yesterday. She, the way her attitude was yesterday, she's like, man, I don't give a fuck if you put it in or not. That's exactly That's okay. I mean. it, it's going to be put in. It's going to be put in all over the place, too. It's going to be put in all over the place. So I'm it's going to be. Up what I well, okay, that's fine. But like I told you, that whole that whole county is, the whole country is looking at that county for what's going on with Fanny. And there's bigger people, bigger people that's interested in any and everything that's fucked up with that DA's office right now. Bigger than this little stupid YouTube shit. Way bigger. So, like I told you, the more light on the situation, the better it is. So don't worry about that. Because, again, 
they come in for her office and, and how she runs it. Not just this case, but every case that she does. And if that's what you got to do, then that's what you got to do. She won't shut the fuck up. I hate to say it like that, but that's just what it is. Um, she won't shut up. What did he see yesterday? He saw that um, Miss uh, Ernell did not care. Miss Winfrey didn't care. Um, and not even so much as she didn't care. At the end of the day, it's, you know, what he saw was that she did say that it was going to be dismissed once upon a time. And it's not. And you know what? I think that when he and Hannah went to court on February 5th and Ernell Winfrey stated that she was going, that that was going to be no pros, Hannah should have been on her job calling Miss Winfrey and checking on the dismissal. When the dismissal hadn't been filed in a week, she should have been reaching out. There was no major holidays. There was nothing going on. Why that couldn't have been processed. And I'm not going to just blame Hannah. I mean, she can't do anything. She can't make the woman do anything, but she could have been checking on it that from between February 5th to March 11th, it's well over a whole entire month that you're like, Hannah says, well, I'm confused as to why this is on the docket for today because this was dismissed. This was no prost on da 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 day, right? Because the next hearing that he had in February was when he finally got a bond on the essay charges, right? So why when a week went by, two weeks went by, three weeks went by, four weeks went by, you're confused why it's on the docket? Dummy, it needed to be on the docket. Why was it not dismissed? Like, okay, I see it's on the docket. This was dismissed. Will this be processed today or what's going on with this? And here's Ernell talking about, yeah, I hadn't filed anything. It's still on here because, because yeah, we're we're running with it or whatever. She's we're gonna bring it with an indictment. Are you kidding me? I'm the break-in queen. Well, you know, you guys are here for a reaction, so I guess that's what I need to do. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? What's going on? I can't believe how this story has evolved over time. Dildos, liquid V, scamming, stealing money, lying, alleged grape alleged CP, and I'm waiting for more to drop. Okay, Willie J? Absolutely. Uh, bye, girl. You don't know what the hell you are talking about. Who? You talking about Sonia? I was like, wait a second, who, me? <laughs> I'm assuming Sonia. Okay, right. Dion was right, but Nesto ain't gonna listen, especially if he doesn't get out our... Or maybe or a bond. He's got bond. He has to pay for it. I mean, he's got he's got the issue. He's got the he's got a bond order. Now he needs to pay for it to walk his ass about that jail. So he has bond. He needs to pay his bond to get about the jail. Um, the funny situation, but we're in time right now. We're we're we know well technically it's over but i think that they are appealing it's really not over legacy moon um some of the trump attorneys are still going to appeal the decision so it ain't over yet that's that's it's not over um they want to appeal they're still coming for her put it that way um but we are talking about it right now because we are back in time when it was still a matter and not that it had any thing to do. Don't, so don't get me wrong at this moment. The holdup had nothing to do with Nesto and uh, Fani being on, um, on the stand at that moment. But what it had to do with, there was a lot going. You don't think that everybody was captivated at their TVs and on their phones watching the boss be deposed in Judge McAfee's court talking about what they thought that they knew about and seeing the sexy couple walking around the the courthouse and thinking something was going on and fine do you imagine the scandal of it all that you're working downtown in Fulton Court Fulton County Court and you think the boss is messing around with the special prosecutor and you actually find out that they are and sir is getting busted up in lies and all kinds of stuff that the shenanigans of that day and time girl are you are y'all kidding me 
it didn't have anything to do with Nesto, but it had something to do with the whole entire city being on their damn phones, watching what the hell was going on at that moment. Cause I know we were over here. Okay. Um, coming from the reckless unorganized secretary. Can you believe that everything always on Monday? Um, she needed a banker to open a Christmas club. Sassy experience. What? With the people. Okay. Um, and Lovejoy dropped a super sticker. Thank you, sis. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Y'all are so sweet. Anyway, okay, let's finish this up and then let's see if we can get over there to Dion. Do you want to do Dion tonight and then we'll get into Dre tomorrow since we're up? Um, okay. Me, you know, particularly. So don't worry about that. Uh, I worry about everything. I know. I know. I'm, I'm worried about everything because, see, I'm. I, my hands are tired. I can't do nothing. I can't even make my peace. I can't even, I, I, I have nothing. That's what I'm trying I'm, to say. I have nothing. Mm -hmm. That's my point, KK Bonita. It shouldn't have been a surprise. The fact that that was not dismissed when Hannah was sitting there, look, when Hannah was sitting in her damn car right here, okay? Let me let me find Hannah. Hannah girl. Ma'am, when you were sitting in your car 5 weeks after Miss Erlene Ernell had said she was going to drop this damn, dismiss this damn case. Why in the world are you asking on a Zoom call that you're confused why that's still on there because that was supposed to be dropped five weeks ago? Why hadn't you been checking? Why come did the YouTube streets know that it hadn't been dismissed? Because, sis, I was checking all the time. Like, the fact that when the system went down, it was like, oh, God. But I had filed numerous requests, which I would tell you guys when I would come live. Hey, guys, I sent a request and they haven't sent it back yet. It has not been filed. You guys were like, oh, it's they're probably behind. You know, the system's down. No. Yes, the system is down for our public access. But trust me, papers are still being filed in a timely manner. Okay. And... I don't understand how she didn't understand what was going on and that you take your ass to zoom court in the car and you're conf and you have the nerve to say you're confused as to why something is still on the docket when you should have known that it never got processed. How is it that we on the YouTube streets knew it hadn't been processed? It was still there active. How come the secretary didn't notice? How is the secretary not noticing and keeping up with what's going on, but the YouTube streets is knowing what's going on? Can you tell me? Girl. Oh, this is the wrong thing. Okay, let's let's get back to over here. So he's mad. He's mad. He went to court. He found out that Ernell was on that, you know, on that bringing stuff back. And he's not going nowhere. He's getting ready to be sitting at a, at 1.1 million. Okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna um, call him and I'm I'm gonna say what I got. You're gonna to call him and, and right and let him know what it is. I sent him the phone number so he has no, it. I'm not to nobody anymore. I'm just No, don't do that. You, you so no, you can't do that. No You cannot do that. Nobody don't give a fuck. They say they do, they don't. Okay, they don't. Well, they anything, they say, everybody listen, say anything. Listen. I don't give a fuck if nobody hear it. I don't care anymore. I don't well, no, care. you can't be like that. So no, what you have like to, that, no, you that, can't be like that. With, no, you can't be like that. So what you have to do is talk to him, and he don't have to either. Shaw, thank you so much for gifting five memberships. I appreciate that. Um, you guys are so sweet. Edit your name, Mile High Diva, Chick-fil-A Girl, Shania Pearson, and Shirley's Fashion. Guess what, guys? You guys got gifted. What? Wake up, wake up, wake up. If you're asleep, you just got gifted. Wake up. I know someone right now is like, what, wait, what, what happened? Did I get gifted? No, I, it may be you. It may not edit your name. Mile high diva, Chick-fil-A girl, Shania Pearson and Shirley's. Fashion. 
Sean, if you got, if your name was called, you just got gifted. See the friend that he say he is of 30 something years and, and help his friend who helped him or he going to show you what type yes, of friend he's not. I'm telling you right now. Um, I'm, I'm just tired of talking, man. I'm tired of talking. And nobody's never fucking listening to what I'm saying. And I was, you're talking in code. Eh? Fuck the code. Fuck all that. Nobody's not listening. Okay. And, and I'm, I'm trying to cuff my mouth because I'm not trying to exploit nobody's personality. Nobody's not listening to what I'm saying. And I don't you want to can talk, talk about, about anything as long as it's not your defense. No, I don't Do want you to understand that. You already mad. You pissed off. Everybody fucking pissed off. Everybody well, I got valid reason because I heard what I heard. Yeah. Look, I was, girl, she she might repeat it because she gets her little notes from over here. Um, Sonia is the worst. She's not keeping up with anything. Um, I mean, there's a lot of people out here making valid points on a daily, and she takes everything. It's not just me, but she takes, obviously, from Pam. She takes from Nyla. She takes, she takes from her personal blogger. She takes from everybody. Um, she seems to think that she is going to try to get Nesto off on some technicalities and class action lawsuits and things like that. Sir has been running around Atlanta doing the most, and she cannot separate him from that. No matter what technicalities may or may not be at play at this moment, Sir still has to account for the allegations against him. You cannot get him out on any technicalities when he is sitting with things like sexual assault, trafficking, someone who on his behalf is sitting and impersonating a actual attorney by the name of April Holloway. You just can't, you can't distance, like you can find as many technicalities and oops, my bads all you want on the city of Atlanta. And that all what very well may be true, but that's not going to open the gates of the jail. Okay. It's going to be like, okay, sir, thank you. We've documented that. And we are sorry for your bad experience, but you're still going to have to stand an account for, for these illegal shenanigans and nonsense that you have been wreaking havoc around the city of Atlanta. You got to be kidding me. There's nothing that's going to get away from that. Um, who's supposed to be listening to what? Nesto walked him out of the woods. Girl, Dre, I don't know. As quiet as it's kept, Dre may not have the money. I don't know. Those people are always counting on people's coins um, that nobody has anything better to do. I bet you what, my living accommodation is better than Nesto's right now. I know it's it's 1 million percent better, not to mention um, period, okay? <laughs> We're not even going to get into it because I don't have anything to prove. This call isn't about me. This is about Nesto. So Nesto can sit and talk about people living in empty houses and all kinds of stuff like that. If It's like, okay. And Dre's sitting over there. Dre, again, once again, my opinion of Dre is on some pocket watching and some hateration. Okay. Hateration. Hateration. Um, he says, Nesto, I really hope that you can go run around and collect some bags because other people have collected bags on you. I'm paraphrasing, but it's like, damn. You guys are the worst type of men. Just because these women, including myself, are sitting and discussing, number one, the law. We're discussing a true crime situation that has happened. We are fascinated by an OG in the radio broadcasting game who has a weirdo ass, low on the totem pole, bum driving around in a Rolls Royce, sorry excuse for a husband as a husband. Everybody was fucking shocked. Everybody was shocked. Like, sis, really, that's your husband? Nobody would care about this otherwise. So because this has turned into a little bit of a thing on the internet. This grown ass overgrown ninja is telling the bum ninja in jail that he needs to turn around and collect some bags off of a bunch of women who are fascinated 
by an OG in the game who lowered herself enough to deal with this type of a bum who was having numerous affairs and allegedly grifting females all around Atlanta. So we're wrong for that, for being like, what happened? But you want to tell this man that this is something he should waste his time on doing is running around and try to take bags from people who actually brought free attention to his weirdo ass case. Yes, it's dusty behavior. It's exactly birds of a dusty feather flock together. So, whatever. I am not impressed with Dre at all, okay? And if Dre had some balls, he wouldn't even be tuning into these YouTube streets. The fact that Nesto has a friend that thinks that the daily tea on his best friend is funny and something to watch and to patronize. No friend of mine could call me and talk to me about some people dragging me on a daily on the internet, okay? The perceived dragging on a daily, okay? You couldn't call me with that. We wouldn't, I would be like, what? Oh, no, I like it. If not, you have one. Minute remaining. You say what you gotta say. If you got your valid reader, I apologize. Y'all already said that now. You don't give a fuck about no apologies. You don't give about no sorry. So you, you can't say sorry for something you, you said and you missed. No, no, no. I'm gonna say if I said it, if I said it, I'd say it. And I'm saying what I'm gonna say now. What she, this is what Sonya wants, guys. If I said it, I said it. I'm sorry. You know what Sonya wants Nestor to say at this moment because they still think he's getting out of jail? Sonia, I love you. I can't, I'm, you know, I'm going to be getting out. We're going to be doing this damn thing. I'm going to be over to your house. I am not using you. I apologize. Please don't take it that way. She wanted some lovey-dovey. She wanted a lovey-dovey. I'm sorry. We're going to do the damn thing. I'm coming to be with you. I'm getting out of jail soon. Blase this, blase that. He said, if I said something, I'm sorry. <laughs> he gave her a very lackluster apology for something he barely even admitted to saying and won't even sit and listen to, won't even listen to the audio. So he's not really validating her. He's not even validating her in this moment that she's upset about something he said. He's giving a half-ass apology and Sir is supposed to be bonding out to her house and he's not, she's already, she's insecure and weak already. She wants to hear something from him to make her feel better about the situation that's getting ready to happen. Not to mention, Sonia is the type of woman that's not used to having a man in the house. And I think she's probably having a little bit of anxiety because she's thinking that he was getting ready to bond out. But little did she know, this ninja ain't getting out no time soon. I don't give a fuck about me. They just talking. They just fucking talking. You do what you had to do. Now you mad. You pissed off. Like, fuck this nigga. I don't give a damn. That's how he feels about me. That's what you saying. That's what everybody fucking saying. So who the well, fuck? Just fuck it, man. Just fuck I'm it. just going no, off I, of how you, that, what you talked fine. about that, that's me. Fine. The way you, Listen, well, the way you talked about me. It was it, it was giving that sound like it don't even sound right. It, it don't, don't but I heard it. it I mean, I heard it. Like I heard it. Forget about you heard it. You said it. You said that you are a premium, top-notch type dude and that basically Sonya doesn't even really qualify for you. That's what he said. Forget about can't afford me. It's more so she's not on my level. I'm a top-notch dude and she's a bottom barrel nightclub manager type chick. Okay? She's someone that I go and slide through when I leave the wife at the house. Okay? She's not on my level, but she'll do for right now because I'm sitting in the county and me and wifey are not talking, okay? That's what was said, and that's why she's mad because we've been saying it all along, Sonia. We've been saying it, and now you heard him say it, and you're mad, and he's supposed to be getting out, but he's not getting out. 
And if I say, well, you know I, what? I say positive shit, I don't say no negative shit. And when I say you can't listen for me, it was the truth. I didn't, you didn't hear from me. I can't fucking miss. Yeah, but the way you said it, you said I didn't, I didn't come looking for her. She came looking for I me. Can, you said it just for like that. You, I'm in fucking jail. Okay, so. All right, That's so you, all need right. To play, you need to be quiet. Thank you for using Global Telling. Thank you <laughs> for watching. Please like. Okay, so. All right, we're at two hours. Um, all right, let's listen. Okay, so this is, I got a lot of notes on Dion. I got a lot of notes. Um, <sighs> let's see. I know some people on the West Coast are probably like, I'm good. Um, she needs so much validation, reassurance, but talks-ish all the time like she's tough absolutely um he did not he didn't need to apologize anyway because she's ain't she because he's she's not going anywhere she's not she was it was a power play um gaslighting from the crybaby and gra gaslighting by you know queen b um this nuka will get out and do that pow pow thing. He, I don't know what he's likely to do, but it's not going to be cute. I don't think. Right. Um, that narcissist shit is definitely coming out now on both sides, on both sides. I think she was getting nervous about him actually getting out. Um, let's look at this real quick though, for a second. So that was March 12th, right? So let me just see. Hold on. Let's look at this real quick. Just so we can refresh our memories. Sis was having a good old time with her friend Yvette and playing um, and playing with everybody. Oh, she took the live down. Isn't that cute? Sis took the live down. She must be listening. Girl, Miss Waller took the live down. Look. Miss Waller is funny. Look at that. Girl is gone. She's, it's so funny when people take stuff down. Like, it's like, ma'am, why do you listen? I, I don't even, I don't get it. But anyway, I do. Well, I do get it because she, she doesn't want us uh, using her shit. Okay. All right. One second. Let me, let me reset because of course we reacted to the video. Um, it's okay. Girl, one monkey don't stop. No shows. Okay. This is. This is definitely a clown, some clown shit. Um, let's see, with Sonia and Nesta, what happened? Okay. So, talking about who is really team sure. Okay, was this it? I feel like I have it in my... Okay. Okay, so let me see. I think I have it in my stream yard too. If I have it and you haven't seen it, um, I'll put it up now that she took it down. So um he doesn't want her, he tolerates her and accepts yeah, because she's she is the secretary, okay? I was your lover and your set. Grit to he tolerates her and accepts her services such as sexual favors, time, secretary, etc. And sounds, yeah. I mean, she is like um postmates. She's girl, she's a girlfriend's version of postmates. Um, all right, let's see if we got the spot right here. Maybe we do. If we don't, I think I have it somewhere else. Oh. But you know what? Everything come to light. And that's what happened. It can't, it, shit at this point. Uh huh. What happened? It said it was AI. <laughs> just conversation. I flirt a lot. That's just what it is. I, I will flirt with a dude at McDonald's. Okay. Uh, and um, it was AI. And then he said it was two years ago. 
And then I didn't hear him say it was two years ago, but maybe he said it was two years ago in the message that he sent. Um, I'm going to have to find it. I, this is obviously the reaction to this video. Um, it's interesting hearing this now, cause I went back to listen to some of this today. Now hearing a little bit of the backstory. Just one second. Oh, I hit something on my iPad. Okay. It was funny hearing some of this now um, with some of this backstory that we're now hearing and how fake mad she was because I don't like, it's like, sis, really? You were not as mad as you were saying that you were. Uh, let me see what's going on here. Hold on one second. Let me go to my library and see if I have that. I thought I screen recorded it. Um, when was that? That was March 12th, right? March 12th. Here we go. All right. Let me see. Hold on a second. Let's see. Okay. Uh, let's see. So she just said it like about, I think it was like somewhere in the hour. I guess, yes. They were forget. What is it? Tuesday? So he thought that I wasn't serious because I, I was talking to him like this about it. You know what I'm saying? I heard what you said. That was foul. She'll drop the call. And um, I wasn't like irate about it and stuff. <laughs> and so he thought I wasn't playing. But I had, to, I had to reaffirm it that, you know, I was serious and I'm out. You know, I'm good. All it takes with me is one little thing and I'm, I'm gone. I'm gone. Because that's all you got to do. It's little hints. People show you little hints of shit. And he and that was a big hint to, oh, okay, that's how you feel. No problem. I'm gone. You know? And he tried to downplay it and was like, that was two years ago. And I'm like, it, it don't matter if it was 20 years ago. You should have just never said that. And I'm out here trying to help you. That's just what you don't do. If I wasn't doing nothing for you, and you trying to be slick at the mouth, then I would have been like, eh, okay, whatever. You know, I ain't got no sweat in the games. It, you know, all we do is talk, but I've been getting, you know. SDA says, this was, she went live on March 12th. So they got, the call we just listened to was March 12th. And this is when she, she went live on March 12th to tell us that it was the end of Nesto and Sonia, right? This was March 12th when she went live. Let's see. Just have confidence and just let that be that. But it kind of, you know what I'm saying? Just high by dues. Just and you see how she, she's so like something about this woman is, you know, she's very calculating the fact that she took the video. It's been up for weeks and weeks. Well, it's been up for a couple of weeks since she called, um, it's so weird people keep saying there's no sound. Um, let me see. So is there, can you guys hear this? Hold on, let me see. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Uh, let's see. Uh, let, me, let me just double check in my monitor. Okay, there's sound on my side. So whoever's saying that there's no sound, um, you got to refresh your app or, you know, close out your browser or things like that. Um, I think we're good. Okay, um, so I just wanted to double check that. Anyway, I'll put this up. I have most of it. I did not record the whole entire... I think I got about an hour and eight minutes. So this live went for about two hours, but the good part when she said that it was AI, um, yeah, I got all that. Actually, but it was before I went to Vegas. Yes, before Vegas. Vegas yeah. was I went to Vegas. Feb oh. DA says Sylvia will be down at the jailhouse early in the morning to see Nesta. Yeah, because you know the visits is open now. Because I don't know. That's you, sis. I, that, whatever. The, um, I don't, there's no more new calls because that's I I didn't go. I didn't go for four weeks. Um, a couple months ago, and I and I and I haven't been 
since I haven't been since February, the first week of February or my, um, January. It was before you went to Cleveland. It was before I went to Vegas. Yes, before Vegas. Vegas yeah. was, I went to Vegas February 7th. February. February 7th, so I went to Super Vegas. I mean, so yeah, Bowl. I haven't seen so. him since January. Yeah. yeah. She's I was talking supposed to see him today. Did you guys not see this? More calls mm -hmm. will come. Oh, my bad. Heard, I guess. Hold on. So, um, you guys have not seen this. So she, this was March 12th. So keep in mind the sequence of calls. We saw March 10th, 11th, 12th, right? This was March 12th, the quote unquote season finale of Nesto and Sonia. Okay. You guys never saw this really? Wow. I did two reactions to it. You guys have been here. So maybe you never watched this whole thing. I don't have the whole thing. Um, I have about an hour. I have a little over an hour of it. Um, I'll post it. I'll put this up early in the morning or something. You guys can watch it in a chat room if you want. If you want me to put it up tomorrow. Um, but it's not the whole thing. It cuts out. This part is, this is where she says that, um, where he says it's AI. Never said that. And I'm out here trying to help you. Okay, that's me... just what you don't do. It's this is around the part. last bridge. He sure did, ma'am. He blew that bitch up. Let me see. Yes, before Vegas. Vegas yeah. was in 2008. And in May. And just say, what did that look like? And she sounded like she. He's the finale of Sonya and Nesto. That she just just a little bit. Letting them go. And I just walked away. And I moved mm -hmm. to Miami and started a new life. And was happy. Because those properties, those tenants and shit, they, were, they weren't paid for. They, were, they had mortgages on all of them. So I just left. I said, fuck them houses. Okay. Screw them tenants. I'm out. And I left 17 properties in 2008. And in May, I moved to Miami. And I, my, um, January. It was before you went to Cleveland. Um, yeah, they got them. But at this point, who cares? I'm trying to find the part where she what says. Talking about, you know, and, and AI wouldn't have known. Okay, here it is. I tried to say it wasn't him <laughs> first. He said it. So I wouldn't lie about it because that's something you can you can find out. So y'all want me to be that's one of them hating ass people. We ain't even gonna so that's, that's that's and you can look it up, girl. My names are on the mortgage, I mean on the um title. So you can look up and Kyle have a So y'all want me to be that's one of them hating ass. People we have said that she was never a property me. owner like that. I don't know, so nobody yeah, cares. <laughs> <laughs> This is the season finale of Sonya and Nesta. What did he do with the toys? The friendship is done. You know what? That's a done. How much money have you sent Nesta? Psycho Doc asked, how did he try to deflect? He tried to say it wasn't him <laughs> first. He said it wasn't him he, at first. How that, did he try to deflect? He said it wasn't. Well, you asked him about it. He said it was AI. <laughs> <laughs> he said it was AI. <laughs> He said, that was AI. That, that wasn't that, me. This shit do sound psycho, don't it? He said, that wasn't me, though, <laughs> AI. <laughs> you know they be making up fake stuff. That's That wasn't me. I said, dude, I was on the call, too. So what are you talking about? You know, and, and AI wouldn't have known. The girl is putting out real calls. That's just what it is. She's not putting out AI calls. Those are real calls. It's not a complete source of information because they're kind of like choppy and how we talk and stuff but those are real calls and so he tried to say that that was ai that was ai and then he said it was two years ago and then Why? so the person that you're hearing her talk to that's her friend yvette um and she was still in ohio at the time of this live she was at her brother's house and she had Yvette on the phone kind of helping her live moderate because Sonia is horrible at lives. And Yvette was basically reading the chat, asking and narrating the questions. And then Sonia was answering. And then he tried to say, he tried to say it was, um, he said it was AI and it, it was, it wasn't him. And then, um, it wasn't um it was one other thing why said. why did shawnee just say what did that look like and she sound like she thick and can roll the best blunts ever 
<laughs> that is hilarious because I am a professional. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> okay, so let's let me show this part for those of you who never watched this. Talk like that and act like that and say things like that because I wasn't trying to be more than a friend. I wasn't. Or was she back home? Had she just gotten, maybe she had just gotten back home. Yeah, she had just gotten back home because I, if I recall correctly now, I think she was in the living room or in the kitchen and her son came home. Tomas came home and she had to move areas because um, Tomas was like, don't get me, don't get me on here. And I guess he was going to go play his video game in the living room or something, something odd or whatever. But yeah, Tomas was home. And she started to tell the story right. about what happened. Said, when was the last time you talked to Papa, a.k.a. Nesta? After court yesterday. I talked to him yesterday after court. I took the call. So she talked to him yesterday after court was the call that we just heard, right? Um, let me see. Nesto can't spell AI. Would you, st Michelle, stop it, girl. Oh, because uh, I know court didn't go well. Um, so I took the call. Because again, I'm not mad. So we knew court didn't go well at that time because we knew that the charges hadn't been dropped um, for the CP, but we didn't know by that Friday he was going to be rearrested. Assaulted. And I feel like if that's how you feel, y'all got that. You know, y'all can handle it. Don't worry about me. I'm going to just go to what I want to do. Up and go. And I think that's, you know, one girl made a comment, me and Yvette was reading today, that, um, Scientists didn't want to pay the bond. Um, no, I didn't want to pay that bond. Not so. Let me just say this too. After they get off the phone, he's on the phone with her just now, right? And that's March twelfth. She gets off the phone and does what? Go live. Okay, this is two hours and twenty minutes. Um, let's go ahead over to Dion's call real quick because I have some energy. Um, if you guys are still up for it, great. If not, I understand. But we're going to go ahead and do Dre, excuse me, and do Dion because Dion is very annoyed at this point that Ma'am keeps doing interviews and all kinds of stuff. He's like, what in the world? What is what is the deal? Like, sis keeps doing interviews and podcasts and this, that, and the, or the other thing, and it's making things worse. So here we are. Um, what time did this happen? This happened late at night, I believe, because I feel like I was getting ready to go to bed and I set this thing up. This what what's on your screen right now? Is it still on the screen? Hold on, let me see. Yes. So this Sonya Live, um, it went. Let me see if I have a time on it. Hold on, let me see what StreamYard says. Hold on. Let me see what StreamYard says what time I recorded this on 311. Oh, because this was happening live at the moment. So I recorded this roughly. So this recording started at 9, 12 um, p.m. So this started around nine o'clock at night. And um, what was that? That was a Tuesday girl, a school night. So I was getting ready to, you know, shut the house down and everything. So, yeah, that's that's when that happened. Right. Um, Anyway, let's get back into it. Um, Dion was pissed because Nesto's mouthpiece is over here once again going live, doing everything she's not supposed to be doing. And he's annoyed with her and what she's doing and how she's impacting his father. So he's pissed. And he's letting Nesto know, like, this is not cool. So here she is again, going live. Nesto is like, well, I can't see what you're seeing because I'm not outside. And Dion's like, well, she's doing interviews. She's doing this, that, and the third. Keep in mind that he's going to talk to Dion. And this is what time this is. So he talks to Sonya at 319 for a few minutes. He gets off the phone. He gets on the phone with Dion at 3.31. And guess who's live by 9.30 that night in the live we literally just looked at, okay? 
Dion has her number. It contains one call made on March 12th, 2024. Ernesto's son, Dion, has a few things to say to his dad. Take a listen. Hello. What's up? How are you? I'm all right. How are you? Good. You get my letter? My mama had got it out the box. <clears throat> Okay. So, no, nah, I ain't ready yet. Okay. All right, then. Okay. Uh, there's a lot going on out there in the world out there. There's a lot going on in the world, brother. How you feeling? How your life going? Because I ain't got no life no more. How your life going? Shit, man, you made the bed you laying in, man. You, you talk that stupid ass shit on that phone. I love how he says you made the bed that you're laying in. Um, if she wears that aluminum girl, that damn aluminum skirt again, okay. Um, and she's been back again. Not only did she do an interview, damn, two weeks ago. What was that on the twelfth? Basically, sat and did a whole live stream. Forget about an interview. Did a live stream. Then she comes back to Sylvia's channel. Again, sis is obsessed with the YouTube streets, okay? Um, girl, a mess, an attention whore. Nast, ne uh, Nasto, Nesto, what a bad night for you, period. Thank you, She Run It. Shirley said it with her chest and went in on Nesto for the old and the, and the new. She kept the same energy later when Nesto spoke. Ma'am is 70 years old, 69, 70, and nobody got time to repeating stuff. If you're done, you're done. I can only imagine a grown woman, um, you know, 20 years from now. Like, ma'am is 70. She's got to be done. Nobody has time to mess around with this nonsense. So, yeah, Nesto never spoke to her again. Yeah, you got, if you're going to give someone your ass to kiss, Give them your ass to kiss and keep moving because every time you turn around and come back, it's just, you look stupid, really. And there's nothing wrong. Like if you feel a certain way, you feel a certain way. But to me, I've always been the type of person, you don't break up until you're ready to be broken up. Like play broken up is not cute because a man is never going to take you seriously. If, if, if breaking, if playing on a breakup is how you manage your relationship, it's never going to work. Just like if you got to give your man an ultimatum to marry you. No. And you allowing that bitch to do it. So you keep on doing that. I don't, man, you made the bed, you laying in there, man. You, you talk that stupid ass shit on that phone. And you allowing that bitch to do it. So... We're not even one minute, one minute and two seconds, and you're allowing that bitch to do it. Dion normally doesn't come out his face on Sonya, typically not so hard, but he called her a whole bitch. He doesn't care. He's done. So you keep on doing that. I ain't got nothing to say about it. That's what you want to do. Do that. What you mean? Man, you know what I mean, daddy. Don't play with me, bro. You know, all them calls got dropped. Don't even play with me like that. No, 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 no. I'm talking about, I'm talking about. You talking about the world and all that shit, man. Fuck them people, man. The world that you really got is the people that's really in your corner, but you saying that ain't nobody in your corner. That shit crazy to me. Same way you had me to find that video, I found that shit. But ain't nobody in your corner, though. You just be talking crazy because you be in your feelings. That shit weird. The same way that you you see me try to put the money on the phone and hang up. Like, but stop that weird ass shit, man. Okay, so you put them on the book because she said she put $10. Man, like, ain't, oh, no, ain't no, ain't no, ain't no, she did shit. I just did that shit just then. Oh, okay, okay, okay. How, you, how, how we talking? You know I don't fuck with her. You know she blocked. Stop playing, bro. Stop, stop the goofy hey, shit. Hey, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Dion dropped all the tea. Now... We don't know if Sonya put money on his account or not because each individual person has their own account. So she 
may have put $10 for him to call Dion. But if Dion called him, it's different. But it sounds like he called Dion. But Nesto's, but Dion said that he put the money on the account. I don't know whether he's got an extra $10 on there or not. We didn't hear what the account balance was. That would have been interesting to know. I don't think, yeah, we didn't hear what the account balance was. But if the, depending on whatever the account balance was, um, we we would know if Sonia was lying. That would be interesting to know if Shay ever, if Shay's listening. I see that she's been putting some times on here. So thank you, sis, for dropping that on the videos. I don't know if that was direct from a request of ours um, over here or not. But I see that the times, because the times are so important on these days where there's lots of calls. So that's some good information to have. Um, what the account balance would have been interesting to know if we were going to call Sonia a liar. She said she put money so that he could talk to his son. Uh, <clears throat> according to Dion, he said he just put money on his account. So which one is it? We don't know. It doesn't really Man, matter. Hold up. You know what you did. I'm not calm. I'm not on no cool shit, man. Okay, you let that bitch play with your son. Oh, you let you let you let your, you let that bitch play with your son. That shit crazy. I ain't shit talk about me, and you know that. Okay. And you sit here letting these folks talk about that shit, knowing these cars on shit get keep getting leaked. Your ass tripping. That ain't what you raised a nigga to be. You doing the shit that you told a nigga not to do. You doing the same shit that you told all your folks not to do. And that shit weird to me, man. And if you okay with doing the shit that you're doing now, man, you should have told me that shit was okay 15, 17, 18 years ago. Okay. I don't like that shit. You know I don't like it. Because you know the way you taught a nigga. You know that shit you all ain't cool. Okay. And you keep talking to your life over with, man. What the fuck is you talking about, man? You keep talking. You go, you, go talk, you know how powerful your fucking tongue is. So keep talking that shit and watch it on happen. They gonna baptize your ass. So keep saying it. Okay. This ain't you. This little shit here, this little shit they sending you through, this shit ain't nothing. You done been through it. But you acting weird like you ain't never been through this shit. Like you ain't never had somebody trying to tear you the fuck down. You helping these people. That, don't, that shit don't sit right with me. You helping them. How the fuck you gonna help somebody to tear you down? Okay. Coming from your life all the way, man. What the hell are you talking about? You still breathing? Well, I, I, I get what it is. You know, I keep going to these barn here and they keep jacking me around, keep lying. It's, 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 it's fucking with me. I don't, I don't watch it. This shit happen, man. But guess what? You got a bun. So at this point, all you need is fun. No, I went again yesterday, and they never put the paperwork in, bro. I guess watch the shit. You think that I, I guess what? Man, man, you think you know shit that you in the, in the shit? Every time you, every time you take a shit, it's on the internet. Okay. I know you went to court yesterday. I know that they said that they can baptize your ass. I know they throw the charges out and they said they can pick them back up. Hey, man, you telling me I don't know, but don't nobody got your back. The nigga that ain't got your back is the nigga that's in the Louis store. But I ain't gonna go there though. Okay. They don't play with me like that. Just start I wonder who is in the Louis Vuitton store buying stuff. I know Sonya says she had a Louis duffel bag, but she cries um bootleg to me, so I don't believe that she has anything authentic because she likes to buy cheap stuff. Um she likes to have stuff that looks expensive, but it's not. Um but I wonder if he's talking about Lamont. Is has Lamont been running back and forth to the Louis store? We don't know. Um, anyway, it's weird. To the sis who just sent me a cash app, thank you so much. I'm not sure why you can't donate in the live. It's so weird. Um, there's always so many technical difficulties with with YouTube. I mean, it's like I don't know if YouTube can't always just get it right. Um, I wish I had some sort of magic reset <laughs> i have no idea but thank you so much there's a couple of people who sent me some cash up so thank you so much y'all you guys are so sweet and thank you for um supporting and contributing like that i really appreciate you um so thank you thank you thank you uh dion took uh dion took a break from hot wiring cars and washing off fingerprints 
in the sweltering Atlanta sun to read Nasty Nesto and his smut Zwan. Okay, let me ask you. So somebody mentioned that there may have been some sort of crime that he alluded to, but I don't know if that was in this video or not. Um, I just didn't hear it, but maybe I'm wrong. So, um, but I, I, and also maybe I missed it. So anyway, he's mad because he feels like Nesto, I think went soft and Nesto is allowing himself to be tricked and he is really messed up about it. And he's basically telling Nesto about himself. Also in a minute, we'll read the poll. Um, I put up a poll earlier today asking you guys what you thought about what was going on and you guys voted. And let me see what you guys, let me tell you guys what you guys voted real quick. Um, there's a poll up on my community wall. If you haven't voted yet, there's 1500 votes. Um, why was Dion so mad at Diddy? Um, first option, I'll, let me see, can I, okay. It's bubbled up. It's at the top. Why was why is Dion so mad at his daddy? Number one, Nesto has gone soft. Number two, Nesto has gone stupid. Number three, Sonya got daddy's balls. Number four, daddy let Big Head speak on his son. And number five is daddy, this nothing. You got bond. You just need funds. Okay. So you guys voted. Um, you guys commented. If you haven't voted yet, vote, vote, vote. And we'll keep an eye on this um, on this poll. Uh, roughly a little over 1,500 of you guys have voted on this so far. So let's just keep it going. And um, we'll talk about it tomorrow. I don't watch like this shit happen, man. But guess what? You got a button. So at this point, all you need is fun. No, I went again yesterday, and they never put the paperwork in, bro. I just watch this shit. You think that I, I just, what? man, man, you think you know shit for you in the, in the shit? Every time you, every time you take a shit, is on the internet. Okay. I know you went to court yesterday. I know that they said that they can baptize your ass. I know they throw the charges out and they said they can pick them back up. Hey, man, you telling me I don't know, but don't nobody got your back. The nigga that ain't got your back is the nigga that's in the Louis store. So basically, he's letting him know, which I'm sure you guys hear this, is that I'm following. Like, we may not have talked. It may have been a couple of weeks. It could have been a couple of months. I don't know how long it had been since they talked. But basically, he's letting him know, like, I know what's going on. I know as it's as it's going on. He he went to court, but yeah, we were broadcasting it on the YouTube streets. So guess who was watching? <laughs> okay. The family, the friends, and his people. All them folks. Okay. But I ain't gonna go there though. Okay. And don't play with me like that. Just straight up. Don't, don't let nobody else play with me like that. You know this. I respect that. I respect that. I respect that. Okay. Come on, man. He's sitting up here feeling sorry for himself, thinking that nobody cares, but Dion is actually watching and keeping up with everything. It's just that, like, you got this chick all up in the mix. Like, there's really no room for your kids because this woman has tried. It's, I mean, this is not what he said, but this is what I'm saying is that. Dion's probably not finding a spot for himself because Sonya is all up in every damn thing. You, 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 you to be my dog. Like, come on now. I don't give a fuck what you're going through or what I'm going through. I ain't doing that. That's what I'm not doing. When I get mad, I go to my, I don't, I don't get the bad to my folks. I don't do none of that shit. I just sit to myself. I don't do that. I ain't jumping on no podcast either trying to please. Ple Trying to make you look like the damn savior. Oh, and I ain't on no podcast trying to make myself look good after the motherfucker don't drag me through the mud. But that's what your folks doing. That shit weird. Okay. My like, real shit. I'm, I'm just telling you on the real shit, man. I don't know. You don't got to know or you just don't got old and you looking at shit a little different or you feel like ain't nobody got your back. But that ain't the way to go. I'm telling you. That ain't the, 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 the route that you going ain't the way to go, man. And stop talking to them podcast people, man. That shit. These like these people get their kids. This like these people get their money, man. That shit ain't gonna do nothing for you. Stop trying to please no case with the world, man, and fight the system, man. 
on some real shit. Okay, I'm gonna find that in that shit in the daddy. So he's uh, telling him to stop even talking to Sylvia. Um, at the end of the day, Sonia's over here taking interviews, going live. Pod, you know, he's got people coming who are coming on some. I'm coming to pray for you, but then posting it. And I look, I don't know because I haven't spoken to uh, this person from the YouTube streets, but I would imagine this person's posting it on their channel for content. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm assuming it's monetized, right? I mean, I have premium, so I don't know when commercials come through. If you hadn't noticed, I'm premium. We don't see commercials. Um, at the end of the day, I don't know um, how those videos were posted, but it, if it's on some prayer and some prison ministry, which, you know, whatever, um, it's still on some monetized Google AdSense if it's being posted and monetized. So yeah that's weird um i mean it's it's a little bit of a conflict of interest but who am i i'm just i'm i'm just out here on the youtube streets too but at the end of the day um it's different um and dion his son is telling him that he needs to tighten up stop being a simp out here stop being soft stop allowing yourself to be tricked this person who's supposed to have your back doesn't have your back because shit's not going well and what she's doing isn't right and i'm telling you from behind the scenes from the family bench you need to you need to get rid of her that's so nah for real i'm telling you some real shit okay i'm i'm listening that's what i need today some real go ahead i'm listening yeah, but you forget who the fuck you is. You and that motherfucker cry. Stop out that motherfucker crying. For real, I'm gonna tell you this. I'm straight up, KD. Fuck some of you crying. Stop fucking crying, man. Straight up, you know what the fuck going, and you know how folks coming behind you. So all that other shit, this little shit that's going on, folks scatter that shit. That shit fucking with people's personal lives. You might look at it like, man, oh, uh, man, that shit. Certain shit that's being said on these calls is getting pulled out. Shit that ain't even supposed to be said. Just, just real shit. They don't know if I'm telling the truth or lying when I be on the motherfucking call. So shit, they keep on taking mine. I don't care. But you got that. I understand. There's some people that shit will get chewed up and spit out because of what you saying or allowing that big ass head whole bitch saying it. I don't give a fuck if they release the call the same way I'm saying it because I don't like that shit, man. These folks don't know you. They going out what the fuck this this new body is doing or saying and what you saying. Come on, man. All this shit that I'm listening to here now, I want to listen to none of it. You know, when that dude, when I do be sitting around, I got a two-hour ride and the shit pop up on my phone. I may click on it. That I clicked on that shit today. That's how I know what's going on. Man, them folks, that's going to be the end of your ass. Keep on playing with them folks. Keep on letting them folks play with your brain. They're going to fuck you, and you're going to be done for real. Because the people that's really with you, they ain't smelling the shit you're doing. I'm telling you straight up. They ain't smelling that shit. Because they know that's not you. I know that's not you. And that's all wrong. Unless you've been trying to build me up to be a better person. Because that's what you're doing. I don't stand for that. I'm going to be real with you. I don't like it. Sign up, bro. They say, I don't talk to you. I don't talk to you like you my daddy. That's what they say. They don't know what they Who the hell do I look like? <laughs> my case. You get what I'm saying? I'm not pleading the case of these people. As long as, I, as long as me and you got an understanding, as long as me and my mama got an understanding on what's going on, as long as I'm not disrespecting either one of y'all, that's all that matters to me. So stop seeing your fucking case to, to these other folks, man. So that shit, that shit ain't doing nothing but digging and digging and digging and digging. And no, like I said, I'm going to say it one more time. I don't give a fuck what you going through. Don't ever say, I ain't got your fucking back. I ain't going to chew you out by all that shit you said. I'm, I don't care. I don't care about all that shit. But don't ever say I ain't got your back, dog. And that shit there, that will make me not fuck with you. I'm going to be honest with you. Because that shit there, if I if don't let that bother me, that will bother me. And you know why. Ain't nothing to talk about. You know why that shit will bother me. Because I ain't never, I ain't never not had your back. And I tell you when you wrong. You know what I'm saying? I tell you when you right. And that's what you taught me to be. You taught me to look at both sides of shit. Come on now. So you ain't looking at both sides of shit on how I'm feeling, 
on what those folks done did and what you done did, that'll just be insane. I don't care about these people putting my mother's shout out there or saying I'm a convicted felon because they don't know. I'm not a fucking convicted felon. They don't know. They don't know what the fuck. They, they worried, they so busy worried about what I got going on versus they want to bash another person versus having their facts together. They ain't even got their facts together on you, so stop giving them reason to keep fucking with you. So, yeah, I didn't know if he was a convicted felon or not. I know he's had some legal trouble. Um, but as far as him being a convicted felon, I'm not really sure. Now, I know he had that situation that happened at the mall and he was arrested. But yeah, as far as the details of his criminal background, I'm going to be honest. I don't know uh, the detail on that, but um, he says he's not a convicted felon. But at the end of the day, um, Sonia is <laughs> OK. This story ain't even about you and the missus no more. The story about you and this house. That's what they call it. You dig, you making these folks keep digging on your ass versus somebody having your back. Manipulate the game if you don't, if you want to do that. But it ain't working in your favor. I ain't playing no game. Shit, I ain't playing no more. I ain't, I ain't got time to play no game, bro. Yeah, I know I ain't into that game shit. I ain't got time to play no game, bro. I'm trying to get my ass out of here. Uh, I'm an innocent motherfucking man. If nobody can't fucking see that, it, it to me, it's, that part is really fucking with me. Man, I'm, but, but it ain't even about the innocence no more, man. It's about the, I'm telling you, bro, it's about the shit that's being said on the calls. It's like, even with you, say you ask a question. You ask that shit eight times. It's like, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 they trying to figure you out now because the shit that, how you acting, how you talking, how you carrying yourself, how you you know what I'm saying? If your temper getting shorter or not. You get what I'm saying? Everybody can hear. Even if you go to a fucking, if you have a jury, the jury don't already heard this shit too. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. The person that they're hearing ain't the person that you are. Stop your shit. That's all I'm telling you. Because it's not helping you. You got a bun, man. You got buns. Yeah, they high, but you got buns. Yeah. Straight up, you got them. That's all that matters. And like they saying, you got to stay in there. Now that now they saying that you got to put that box on your leg and get them some money. You already knew they were gonna want that anyway. Yeah. So your life ain't over with. You just need some money. Straight up, I'm just gonna be real with you. Sorry if I came off a little too aggressive. I I feel like I ain't even aggressive enough to be honest with you. Because you playing. I, I, I'm used to it. I'm used to it, bro. Go ahead. Speak your piece. Nah, I ain't showing you out. I ain't tripping. When I chew you out, it's going to be face-to-face, dude, dog. I'm going to be real with you. And I ain't going to give you a reason to go back to your room and feel some type of way. I'm just giving it to you raw. Tying up, man. I just, just, just straight up. This ain't you. Yeah. It ain't. I, I, I understand. Don't nobody want to see that motherfucker 28 to 48 hours. I get it. I get it. Yeah, I ain't going to fuck with the kids and all that shit there and all that, that shit that fucks with me, bro. That shit fucks with me. So I didn't like that. I, I didn't like that shit. Didn't but like here's that. the thing, man. You gave them the ammunition to do it. And you don't know that. It's something you may not know that you're doing. You hear what I'm saying? So... I'm not going to just sit here and just get on you. But when I break it down to you face to face, you're going to understand where I'm coming from with you. But I don't care nothing about no folks out there and me. Like you said, you're used to it. I'm used to it. It come with the territory. It come with it. You know what I'm saying? So I don't care about that. They ain't big. They ain't bothering nobody else. They ain't bothering the people that do stupid shit. I don't, you know, so it's cool. It's cool. They should have put some better looking pictures of me because I'm fine as a motherfucker. Let these <laughs> They put the ugly shit up of a Claire, of a P. Got to be looking like a P. It's uh, cool. I'm like, I, don't care. I don't care because I'm secure with myself. You know who you are. You know your character, man. Stop that, man. Listen, man. Stop your shit. There's some people that I ain't never seen like this. Ain't never seen you like this. You ain't never seen yourself like this. Chill it on out, man. Straight up, just chill it on out. Okay. Go back to the drawing board. There's plenty of things to do. You've been going a minute. There's plenty of things to get money out here now. There's a whole lot, a whole lot of brick and mortars out here. 
You know what I'm saying? So it's cool. Like, you can't be saying that it's over with. Like, it's so many people out here, man. Like, it don't matter how somebody can take something and run with it and look at you a certain type of way. People going to believe what they want to believe anyway. You know what I'm saying? They're going to believe that if somebody going to put a blog up and say you, you're a billionaire, they're going to, oh, he's a billionaire. Or they say you, that you homeless and you up under the bridge. Oh, he's a homeless under the bridge. The whole time, you you know what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? It don't yeah. really matter. It don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Because most of these people that be talking about people or sitting there looking at it don't have nothing to do all day. I said, what do I care about what the next person's life got going on? So you need to stop caring about that stuff, man. Really, people need to stop telling you. And you just need to stop talking about certain stuff. You need to talk about other stuff that you can't go up talking about. You, did you forget when you were jammed up how you were? Sending me different pictures of people drawing and all that, man. You had other stuff going. Get it. I get it. You in the county, but I'm just saying, you know how to make the time do the time. If the family's calling you a side hoe, that's exactly what you are. It's, um, I mean, look, Dion's giving him some real feedback that he's given him before. I mean, how many of these pep talks have we had to sit through? Lamont always gives him a pep talk. Dion has given him numerous pep talks. Dre is just about as bad as Sonya. I'm going to be honest with you. Dre with his real talk. Um, and that's cool because people need a good dose of real talk. But Dre, the difference between like a Dre session and a, Nest, and a Dion session is... Dre is very messy and he comes with the gossip and he's always very concerned about what people think. Dion is like, fuck what people think. I'm telling you the real of what you need to do and stay focused on what you got going on at this moment. And Dre is very, very messy. I think a lot of times we found his uh, brutal honesty amusing. I do think it's more amusing and funny. And I thought at one time he might have been a good friend, but to me, he's not, he's not anything to write home about. Honestly, Dre is very, very messy. I need Nesto to get um, the Tootsie Roll out his ear and listen to Dion. Yeah, but you know, it's still not going to do him any good. He's, he's up in there on some damn grape charges. He's not going anywhere. Um, and Nesta was his own worst enemy. He doesn't like to, he, even though he likes to listen to other people, give him advice. He, I don't see him taking it very much. And for whatever reason, he seems to latch on to these women and he thinks Sonia is smart. And that just is the testament to how dumb he is because Sonia is not smart at all. Uh, versus that shit whooping you. You got that motherfucker whooping you right now because you so worried about the shit you didn't do. Yeah. Notice how no, Dion talks about the YouTube streets and that we're listening to the calls, but he doesn't trash anybody on the YouTube streets because he knows we're telling that real. Um, Dre is messy, and Dre has made himself low-key part of the story. Dre even sitting up there mentioning Sylvia's name. Dre is certified messy as hell, okay? He's messy. OK, he is certified messy. He knows way too much about what's going on and tells Nesto too much about what's going on. Dre low key, like I said, is almost just as bad as Sonya. Yes, you know I said it. <laughs> I'm just, you know, shit. I'm just saying, but you can call, no, you know, you didn't call for me to talk to you all. I did, I did, I did, I did, I did. I did. Yeah, man, you need to listen to some jazz sometime when you call these phones, whoever you call, you don't even talk. Just listen to some music. Get your mind off some other shit. Put your mind like you're free, man. It's relaxed time. You ain't got no overhead right now. And that was, you ain't never been able to sit that, that still in a long time, man. Straight up. You know, that ain't the way you want to sit down. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, at the end of the day, that's what it is. I just drove to Dallas. You know the only reason I know about Dallas? I don't know. I think that's what she said. You used to work at the uh, Walmart at, and then when I gave her my car at. Yeah. When I gave her that BMW to have. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. But who told me to give it to her? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Wake up, man. You follow whoever you call. Don't even talk. Just listen to some music. Get your mind off some other shit. 
put your mind like you're free, man. It's relaxed time. You ain't got no overhead right now. And that was, you had never been able to sit that, that still in a long time, man. Straight up. You know, that ain't the way you want to sit down. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, at the end of the day, it is what it is. I just drove to Dallas. You know the only reason I know about Dallas? I don't know. Cause I, that's what she said. Used to work at the uh, Walmart at, and that's where I gave her my car at. Yeah. When I gave her that BMW to have. Yeah, I, I remember that. Yeah. But who told me to give it to her? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Wake up, man. Yeah. This is true. Are you perfect? Fuck no. Okay, so I'm not sure what that's about. There's somebody at a Walmart who he just brought a BMW to. What does that have to do with anything? Y'all, we just have to stay tuned and figure it out. I don't know. I don't know what that was about. I'm going to be honest. Let's listen to it one more time. He went to Dallas and went and met up with some Keisha or somebody who works at a Walmart who told him to give Keisha a BMW at the Walmart or bring her a car? Is she somebody who was going to come and drop some charges because he owes her something? Like, who in the world knows, y'all? We don't know. But it it was... Okay, so that's what somebody was talking about. I didn't get it, but... Girl, I didn't get it. But let's, let's listen to it one more time. Um... Because like he said, we're trying to figure everything out. And we are and we do. Okay. So yes, Dion. Yes. Yes. You're right. Okay. No, I ain't nobody first, bro. You know what I'm saying? But you don't try. You don't get the little thing. You can, can you have that better aspect? Yes. Yes. But do you, have you tried to force it on people too? No. You know what I'm saying? I got you. Okay, you say he was talking about Dallas, Georgia. Is there such a place, Dallas? I mean, I know there's Dallas, North Carolina. Uh, let's see, Dallas. I want, is that out there by Augusta, where he's from? Dallas, Georgia. Okay. Okay, Dallas, Georgia. Dallas, Georgia is a city, uh, is a city in a county seat of Potting County, Georgia. Estimated population... Uh, 14,000 in northwestern uh, exurb of Atlanta. Okay, Dallas, North. So Dallas is outside of Atlanta, located 38 miles from downtown area. Okay, so not Dallas, Texas, Dallas, Georgia, about 38 miles outside of Atlanta. Okay, interesting. Thank you for. Um, cause y'all, I hate to say it when I hear Dallas, I just think Texas. Cause of course, right. Um, why wouldn't I, but yeah, it looks like it's West of Marietta, but to their point, they say it's 38 miles outside of Atlanta. So it's about, like they said, Northwest it's West of Marietta and Northwest of Atlanta. So, okay. Interesting. Dallas. All right, let's listen to that again now that we know where Dallas is. I don't know. Cause that's what she said. Used to work at the uh, Walmart at, and then when I gave her my car at. Yeah. When I gave her that BMW to have. Yeah, I, I remember that. Yeah. But who told me to give it to her? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Wake up, man. Yeah. This is true. Are you perfect? Fuck no. No, I ain't nobody perfect, bro. You know what I'm saying? But you don't try. You don't get the little thing. You can, can you have done better aspects? Yes. Yes. But do you, have you tried to force it on people too? No. You know what I'm saying? I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got it's you. It's about what everybody else wanted to try to do. Truth be told, you know what I'm saying? You didn't make me stay around you. I still, I stayed around you so I could become a better man. I couldn't get there hanging around women all the time as a youngster. When you came in, everybody want to know. You know what I'm saying? They think that you don't have it since I was, um, since I jumped out the Popeye. 
He said, don't let anyone fix their mouth to call me soft again. Mm. Somebody walking up and down the street in a hundred degree weather. Or catching no bus in the middle of nowhere and finding your ass. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You remember that terrible Boulevard? I see. Dion knows everything. Terra Boulevard. Does anyone know that? He said going and catching a bus in the middle of nowhere to find your ass. Okay. Interesting. I remember all that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I do remember. Terrible I remember. Right. I remember. You, you got a more fresh memory than me, but I'm catching up. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. 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 I appreciate it. You showed you show me how to survive. I'm going to give you that. Can't nobody take that from you. You showed a lot of people how to survive. Yeah, this you is just... how to eat. What'd you say? No, no, go ahead, go ahead. I'm, I'm listening. I'm just going to shut my mouth and listen. So, this is what I need. So, I, I, all I'm basically saying, and I'm going to let you talk, all I'm basically saying is, man, don't let a bad time take away from your good time. Now, can you do one huge bad thing to take away from everything? Yeah, somebody can do it. It goes on all the time. A good person can take a life by mistake. Just a minute, the wrong place, wrong time. It could be a bad accident. It could be a slip and fall. And that bad, that one bad mistake can have a group of humans looking at you like you're terrible. But you got to know who you are. So saying what you be saying is insane. That means that you feeling how they feeling about you. You get what I'm saying? No, I, understand. Shit, I, I understand. I yeah, I'm just trying to make sure I'm I, I'm delivering it the right way. Where you, no, where, no, where, where I, you, I, you know I, 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 I get it. I, 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 I get it. Trust me, I get it. I get it. It's just some minute, some minute down. So Terra Boulevard looks like it's in Clayton County. I ain't go. I ain't worrying about the cases. I know I do none of that shit. So on that part, I'm not even concerned. I'm not worried about that. It's just that, that the procedure, like yesterday I went through that shit, you know, just the line and the, the scheming and the conniving. They supposed to be prominent people, all that shit. That's what. When he said prominent people, <laughs> girl, wait, hold on. Let me see. That, that part get to me. They supposed to be prominent people. All prominent. The the like prominent people. Shit. It's just that. The, the procedure, like yesterday I went through that shit, you know, just the lying and the, the scheming and the conniving, they're supposed to be prominent people, all that shit, that's what just be, that, that part get to me right now, that's what getting to me. 
They're supposed to be prominent people. So, um, look, Nesto or Dre or whoever's listening, um, damn, Dion, Hannah should have been on that. Hannah shouldn't have been coming to a case management and not up on the fact and being confused as to why something is still on the docket that wasn't closed. If you're confused why it's on there, I'm confused why it's still open. This was supposed to be closed six weeks ago. And then you're just now finding out when it wasn't closed one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, you should have been on that. You shouldn't have been in your car at case management finding out that that thing was still open or confused about why it's still open. What happened to picking up a phone or sending an email to DA Winfrey? Why didn't you do that? So that's, that was, I mean, I'm not trying to be on Hannah, but at the end of the day, um, that's just what it is. But he's, look, I, I love this for us. And I love it even more for Nesto because Nesto is getting a lawyer at the good taxpayer of Georgia and the city of Atlanta's expense, and he's getting what he's paying for. So, oh, well, oh, well, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, well. Man, I'm going to tell you some real shit. They lied on Jesus. They talked about Jesus, I mean. So it's like, man, the end of the day, man. You don't did the you don't did the time, still doing it. Fuck on talk regardless. They were talking before you were jammed up. They don't do that. Yeah, they talk about the city of Atlanta every day. Damn. Just you know, it just it, it is what it is. But you gotta know what you doing and what your next move is gonna be. So if you popped out tomorrow, what the hell you gonna do? You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I get it. I get it. You got stipulations and everything that's coming with you. Yeah. And I don't know why they keep trying to ask you to surrender something you don't have. Yeah, they don't tell them a thousand times. 504 is not cracking any more jokes until about two, three hundred people hit the like button. Well, sis, that just might not happen. I don't know. Some people may have fell asleep. They're just giving me my watch time. And that's cool. I appreciate that. Um, but if you could hit the like button along with it, it would be greatly appreciated. But girl, it's okay. We're we're you know what I'm saying. We're not we're not gonna we're not gonna lose a whole lot of sleep over it. But 504 is not going to crack any more jokes. Okay, guys. Um, and we're almost done with this. Okay, so let's keep going. They stole that passport out there, damn Range Rover. But seeing ain't nobody ain't listening. <laughs> See nobody. That's, that's, that's the part that's getting to me right now. That's what getting me feeling like you just got a, a, a memory of the Hulk, but it's like nobody ain't. Man, I'm supposed to be gone. Man. The evidence showed I'm supposed to be gone, but I'm still sitting here. That's what just really. Man, you gonna me. have to. You gonna have to give us the money to leave and go. I'm gonna be real with you, tell Yeah. Well, I ain't got no money, bro. I don't have no money. Oh, oh well. And my and my brain set it's, it's just it's fucked up. I'm so used to running shit, I can't run a damn thing. Yeah. But your mouth. You That's can run that mouth. Thing. You gotta understand too. You can't run everything. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta sit back and listen to the play and you can execute it better. Yeah. Well. You know, just to be real with you. We just the type of people that gotta gotta do it all. But some some stuff you don't have to do with yourself, man. Yeah. That's what I told you that last car we had, man. You can't be mad, man. You said this. My bad. Yeah. Um. Guys. Okay, guys. Sorry. Let me fix this. I had to do something. Um, okay. Listen to the play, you can execute it better. Yeah, yeah. You know, just to be real with you, we just the type of people that gotta, gotta do it all. So some, some stuff you don't have to do with yourself, man. Yeah. That's what I told you that last car we had. Man, you can't be mad, man. You set this shit up the way you set it up. You can't be mad. 
all the stuff you do it on your own or you have to, you know talk to somebody else how to do it. And they got all your your, your info and woo woo. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm saying. I mean, Dion's talking a little bit too much himself. He says, what did he say? He said, you set this up. You taught people how to do it. You da 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 and whoop de whoop and blah, 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 and blase, blase. Um, what? Yeah. Yeah. You know, just to be real with you, we just the type of people that got to gotta do it all. I'm going to be real with you, Kaleo. Yeah. Well, I ain't got no money, bro. I don't have no money. Money. Hey, Southern yeah, Fried Yankee. It's, it's just, it's fucked up. I'm so used to running shit, I can't run a damn thing. Yeah. He constantly That's needs a pep you talk. You gotta understand too. Can't run everything. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta sit back and listen to the play, and you can execute it better. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just to be real with you, we just the type of people that gotta gotta do it all. But some some stuff you don't have to do with yourself, man. Yeah. That's what I told you that last car we had, man. You can't be mad, man. You set this shit up the way you set it up. You can't be mad. All the stuff you do it on your own or you have to, you don't talk to somebody else how to do it. And they got all your your, your info and woo woo. You get what I'm saying? No, I understand. I understand. So like if I had, like I told you, like I told you a long time ago, stop changing it. Stop changing it. I can have access to your stuff. But whoever you have around got the access at the time. And then you'll change it again. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I understand. I understand. I, I get it. I'm, I'm, I get it, bro. But, so when it comes down to certain stuff, can't be mad at certain people about certain things. Like, you know, now you know. You got to train You gotta train the person to know certain stuff. You got to train yourself to know certain stuff. Because when it comes down to doing, you know, Paperwork and all that type of stuff. You know who the type of person that's gonna do it. You know the type of people that's not gonna do it. You know the type of person you can go stand in the foul something. You know the type of person you can't stand in the foul. You know I'm not the type of person you can go stand in the foul some paperwork. You know what I'm saying? Like that'd be crazy to look at somebody to do something that they're not even doing for themselves. I'm just using that as an example. You get what I'm saying? No, I understand. I, I get it. I, I, I understand that part. These been the new ways I've been finding myself trying not to be disappointed with stuff. Because I know you want to do it for yourself. I right. know you ain't going to do it for me. You get what I'm saying? Right. No, I understand. I, I definitely understand. Well, I definitely feel better talking to you. Too. Yeah. Because I can't see what you see. Yeah, I can't see what you see. Yeah, we just meant that day I said. The fact that Nesto does not know that Sonya is a bum is shocking to me. Uh, you sent a super chat? Yeah, I read it, I think. Let's see. That you're working on a timeline? Is that what you're talking about? You're working on a timeline? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, we read that. Um... Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, I think I was in the middle of talking about something, so I didn't get a chance. I don't know if I hit coins on it or not. Um, but yeah, I did read it, and thank you so much. I appreciate it. So um, if you were clicked off or whatever was going on at the time, absolutely. And you know I go over the Super Chats at the end, but you know, sometimes I'm just trying, you know, we're three hours in, so I'm sh I'm sure I did read it. But yes, absolutely, I did read your your message, sis. Um, and thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let's see. Let's try to finish this up. Hey, you was the call. I said, hold on. If he stay out here long enough, I, 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 I can go ahead and put it on now again. So they, when, it, when you hang up, it'll hang up. But I don't hang up. I just let it roll to whatever. And it'll come back and say, don't be a sap. So it, uh, I just let it rain, bro. To say, come back and say, oh, okay. it, yeah, I don't never hang it up. I just let it ring. And if it pick up, it pick up. Then pick up says not your call, not accepted. I just, just keep it moving. I don't let it, you know, I don't just hang it no up. No worries, sis. I a minute to do whatever needs to be done. So I, I get that part. Uh, yeah. Man, I got that. So basically, um, I guess it's like, hey, I call. I don't know if you're going to pick up. You may pick up. You may not pick up. If you don't pick up, don't feel any type of way. 
Um, it's not that I'm I'm hanging up too soon. He's saying, well, maybe you hang up too soon. He's saying he's not. It's it's a lot of miscommunication. I get it. Also, these people do not seem to know how to really like say what they need to say. That truck out, man. That truck been in for for four months. What? Yes. For what? Yes. For the oil change? Man, that thing, whatever wrong with it, a recall and then the leaking of the oil. I was just trying to get it back on 100%, man. That thing still up, though. They ain't letting you, they're not, they're not gonna let you get it, or they get, the shit supposed to be free. What supposed to be free? Whatever, they, the oil, the oil thing, the oil leak that they seal, that silicone seal that they put on the first time that they charged me 13000 for, that shit supposed to be, uh, fixed. That's their fault. I guess took it down. Oh, there. see, I didn't know. Oh, no. Yeah, that know. shit supposed, yeah, that shit supposed to be free. That, they took it, took, took it back in. And uh, they couldn't do it because they had so many people in front of me, and then I got locked up. Yeah, that silicone shit to go around the seal, that's what the oil is because it's from the top and ain't from the bottom. It's on top of the engine. And you pull the records up on it, it'll, it'll show that. Michelle, that's and messed up. He, you know, he's not He's not in that. And you went to sleep for like two days and put a... He's not interested in a oh, in a bromance. Like Ladies, we need to stop procreating yeah, with yeah, those yeah, things. Yeah, oh my yeah, God. Six it, kids. So apparently there's, I do recall him telling Shirley that there was warranty work. And I I do recall him telling her that. I don't know if she conveyed that to Net, to uh, Dion. We don't know. Um, when's the next court date, sis? I don't know. Um, this is what I'm going to say. I think he is pretty much set right now with bonds, right? That's number one. So maybe he gets another bond hearing in 90 days if he's not out. Also, um, it's the grand jury next month. So grand jury convenes and there's an indictment. Well, then we'll start hearing about court. We'll start hearing about a trial. But we don't know anything. I think he's set with pretrial right now. Unless there's some pretrial motions, unless there is some a request for bond reduction again, um, those are the kind of things that would bring him back into court. Otherwise, it's the grand jury this month in April, because today was April 1st. Today's April 2nd now. Um, the grand jury is to convene this month. We're already in April, y'all, which seemed far away when we first heard about it in in February, but it's here. So the grand jury is convening this month. They could be convening soon and we're going to hear about some indictments. So after that, if he is indicted, we will hear about trials. Okay. Or, um, yeah, we'll hear about what's next. So this is what he wanted. Um, and he's been praying for an indictment. Let's, let's not forget that. Nesto has been very vocal about waiting for an indictment, and an indictment may be what he gets, right? Girl. Um, well, I remember him saying something about warranty, so I don't know. Ooh, you guys, let's finish this up so we can go to bed. We've been here for three hours, but I wanted to get caught up. So tomorrow, um, whenever I go live, we can talk about Dre. Um, April 6th is court. That is what the A's, let's see, how's the F-150, $4,000. Um, I think it's April. I wonder what it's, I wonder what it's for. I guess we'll see. I'll see what I can see um, online tomorrow. That's a Saturday. I'll see what I can find out tomorrow. I found, um, a resource the other day when I was looking for Keisha's. Um, let me see. I think someone sent me a cash app um, initials EC. Thank you so much. Let me uh, hit the. Just one second. Yes. Okay. I hit the star, the, uh, the heart. Thank you so much. That was so sweet. I appreciate you. Um, okay. All right. Let's get through this April 8th. I wonder what April 8th is for. 
I think that's a, okay. April 8th is a Monday. What that's going to be. Do you know whose court it's in on April 8th? Golly. Um, April 8th is, um, what court, um, KK, do you know? Is that Judge Manning again, or is that, um, oh, that's the, the indictment? How do we, how would we know when the grand jury, we don't get to see the grand jury hearings, um, so it doesn't matter. It's from It's Judge Adams. Okay, so they are reconvening on the pre-trial motions for the sexual assault. Okay, so we will know if there is anything on the SA charges. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Um, she's giving them enough time to... Yeah, it's not... No, it's the grand jury court. I saw the calendar. Yeah, but grand juries are private, so we're not going to see grand jury court. Grand juries are secret. You don't see grand jury. No, grand juries are, are not. Grand juries are behind closed doors. Um, okay. I'll see if I can find out some more information just to clear that. But okay, well, thank you for that date. And then we'll figure out what it actually is. But grand juries are, are private and grand jury names. That's not something that's like televised or anything like that. Um, but she probably put a date on, okay, we're giving a bond and okay, well, and they're going to have to produce something or let him go. Okay. Interesting. All right, y'all let's finish this up. We got like three more minutes and I'm gonna let y'all go. I'm from Dallas. It's all time. Yeah. So I get the call and I go home and get his car. Yeah. So that's, that's what that is. So they supposed to take that for free. Uh, the, uh, and the other thing, you know, with computer thing, they go and put that little box in there, and it, it can reprogram. It's a reprogram they got to do. But that is, oh, that's free. I didn't know that. Yeah, all that shit's free. You ain't got to pay for nothing when it come out of there. Yeah, he got, how, he hard had me at an how hard is it to say it's warranty work and there's not supposed to be any charge? When he's saying, all oh, that's free, like, you, what dealership, I mean, if the dealership... Most of the deal, I don't know, my experience with going to the dealerships, they, when they put that VIN number in, everything comes up um, because obviously that's how the dealerships make money. They don't make any more or less money doing warranty work or you paying for something that could be warranty work. Um, I don't know. Well, or a recall or something like that. You would think that they would look that up, but I don't know. Man, it started at 600, then it went higher and higher. No. And I told him after he did the diagnosis, just call me back. Yeah, I went back up there a, a month and a half later, like, bro, what's up? And he said, going to call me Friday. And that was Wednesday. Still don't have anything back from him. I had got a whole car wash spot. And I had it, um, had that going or whatever. But I was putting that truck on the road for the hot side. That's why I wanted to be together all the way. And, um, yeah, I ain't even going to go before that. Damn. Yeah, you, you gotta make sure that make sure that shit's payments and all that shit done caught up. Cause that shit can affect everything. What? You gotta make sure the payments on on the thing was uh current and everything. Cause they'll put a uh, jump off on that thing like that. Nah, we find that. Yeah, so but that's it. You shouldn't have to pay now when you come out of that. It's supposed to fix the shit, it takes like a week to do it, and they're supposed to get you a loan card when you're doing it. When you turned it in. Yeah, I thought about that the other day because I got in a bad accident. Yeah, you told me. You told me. Man. You didn't get your car. You got another car? No, I don't play. You have one minute remaining. All right, brother. Come. I love you. I appreciate the pep talk. Uh, needed that. Yeah. 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 You need to just call my phone. 
Thank you for using Global Tell Link. Mm-mm-mm. Thank you for watching. Please like. Okay. Um. I don't know. I can't see. I'm looking on um on a database, but it's just not up to date to me. Let me see if there's any new filings. Uh, I can't wait till they get the system back up and running so we can really see what's going on. Um, I'm going to have to call. You remember how when Sonia called down to Atlanta, Fulton County and got the person on the phone and got basically everything over the phone, I'm going to call into that because that's that's the only way to really find out what's going on right now. Um, at least for me, I don't have access to some of the other stuff. Um, what I did have access to is, is down right now. Um, what is the CP charge? Uh, let me pull the CP case number. Uh, CP case number is, let's see. Not the CP case, excuse me, the sexual assault case. Let's see. Sexual assault case number is, okay, CP, 23CP219961. Let's see. Let me see if I can pull this up. Two three CP two one nine nine six one. I hope it shows something. Let's see. Nope. Hearings. I can't stand this. I cannot wait till Fulton County gets back up. So annoying. Let me check and see. I'm sure it would be like major news if Fulton County was up. Fulton County Magistrate Superior Court. Okay, let me see if I can look this up. Uh, criminal filings, records. It takes us to this site. I hate this site. This is not. Ugh. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna have to play around with this and see if I can pull it up. Anyway, uh, let me see what else you guys are saying. Yeah, Judge Adams, I'm gonna have to call to the county and see if I can get some information. If I can get the person on the phone, then I'll I'll record it and play it for you guys. Um, I'll check on it first thing in the morning. Our girl is up late giving us the good content. Oh. You're welcome. My pleasure. I was gone all weekend. Dion sounds surprised. And then we'll get into Dre tomorrow. Who sent that? Dr- Sonia Dunn ran everyone off away. She sure did. She ran off everybody. Uh, Pass a Dion Franklin. Okay. <laughs> $13,000. I don't believe it. I don't. 
Look, it is a diesel truck, but I doubt it's $13,000 to fix something. That's like a new engine or something like that. And that's even very expensive. Um, I don't believe it. Um, okay, guys, this was fun. I hope we got caught up. Um, and thank you to anyone who came and listened to this and heard it already because I know I'm late to the party on reacting to this because it's like a day or two old now. But, girl, we're going to get through it. And then Dion um, and having his choice words. We'll talk about Dion again tomorrow. Obviously, we've already reacted to the video, but we'll talk about it some more tomorrow. And then we'll get into Dre. Um, girl, big bubble, your lunch is ready. I'm telling you. Dre is messy and he loves this stuff. Just think about if you were in some trouble and one of your friends is coming to bring you YouTube streets news all the time. That's messy. Dre is very, very messy. He's low key trying to play like he's a friend. He's messy. Sonya's messy. Dion really does care about his father, but Dion also knows like, dad, there's just limited stuff I can do. Like I can't do everything that you want me to do because I'm out here trying to survive. I'm trying to get through what I'm trying to get through. So Nesto has to understand that, you know, whatever Dion is doing, Dion is out here having to provide for himself and he might just not have it to do for him. And that's real. I don't know where Sonia thinks that people need to hold down two and three jobs to support other people and their choices to make bad decisions. So I get it. And I don't think that there's anything wrong with it if you can do it and if you can help out and it doesn't hurt your primary finances and responsibilities. But at the end of the day, Dion is not obligated to do anything for his father other than love and respect his dad. If, if that's, if that's the situation of the moment, but that's to me as a son, parents shouldn't be expecting their kids to do for them. That's not what we have kids for. Right. In my opinion. And if your kid can do something for you, awesome, but you people shouldn't be putting their kids in responsibility to take care of them. Um, that's just my opinion. I think it's your honor to want to do that as a child, um, as an adult and your parents need your help. Of course, um, but he's not obligated to, especially when Nesto has been doing the most out here and putting himself in harm's way and had a helpmate known as a wife who he basically threw away for a, um, a, a strip club general manager by the name of Sonia Waller. Like, come on now, that was dumb. Anyway, Michelle, thank you so much for the, I'm going to thank everyone for the super chats and stickers. Michelle, call Michelle. Thank you for the uh, member milestone, April um, gifting membership, Lady Diamond gifting membership, Michelle gifting membership, Alan Speed, thank you for the sticker. Legacy Moon, thank you for the super chat. Um, 504, thank you again for the super chat. Cross Country, thank you for the gifted memberships. Vicky, 504, 504, Sassy, Lovejoy, Shani, um, Shania Pearson, thank you so much for the super chat. Super stickers, thank you so much. Um, Shay, thank you for the gifted memberships. Mile High Diva, Michelle, she run it. 504, 504, Vicky Vale. Thank you again for the Super Chat Super Stickers. She Run It and Vicky, thank you again. You guys are awesome. Thank you for supporting everybody who hit the like button, everyone who's been here this whole time watching and um, running up that watch time. I appreciate it. You guys are amazing. Take care. Have a wonderful evening. I'll see you guys tomorrow around, I don't know, lunchtime somewhere. Um, and we will get into Dre and we will wrap up this conversation on Dion. Okay. You guys have a wonderful evening. Sleep tight. Don't let uh, it's you, the bed bugs bite. That's old. Anyway, but you guys sleep tight, have uh, sweet dreams. And thanks for joining me for this late night live. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Bye guys.